just hit me. Do you have any idea who I am? No, I do not. But regardless of who you may be, I will not put up with this disrespect. What a pain in the ass. This is draining my will to live. You honestly don't know who I am, do you? I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I don't know much about the royal capital. They want me to believe she doesn't recognize the prince of her own country? She's lying. Looks like she's one devious protagonist. These characters were designed by a well-known artist, and they cast a bunch of popular voice actors. Supposedly, it's the hotly anticipated new game from a big developer, but... You're not like other girls at the Academy, are you? This world, this Atome game, it really favors the women. And here I am, using my precious day off to improve my relationships with a bunch of dudes! Uh... Traveling abroad is so fun! <sighs> She's the one who forced me to play this stupid game in the first place! A new Otome game? I heard that if you beat it, the music at the end is so awesome, but I'm too busy to play through it myself. You want me to beat it for you? Yes, I do, because if you don't, I'm going to tell Mom about you-know-what. <sighs> so, 100% completion would be great! I... Raising five! Damn it. Why am I doing this? Don't want a total nightmare. I'll be holding my own tea party soon, and I'd very much like you to come. What? Hold on. She doesn't even belong with us. Oh, boy. Classic rich girl antagonist. I don't understand why nobles obsess over their social status. You're a prince, or the daughter of a duke. Who cares? Floating islands? Of course. Not afraid, are you? No. I think I'll be alright. And here we go with the Dungeons and Monsters. Great. You can always tell when a studio usually makes games for dudes. They love to cram this kind of stuff in. Naturally, they're flying bike things. Don't forget the battleships. Oh, look, we're fighting a war in power suit. Hooray. This game is freaking bonkers! Can you even call it an Atome? It's super violent and crazy difficult. Why the long face, pretty boy? Olivia, forgive me. Oh, screw this. I'm spending money to speed things up. <laughs> Behold, the power of a functional adult! You dare deceive his highness, foul wish? Shut it, Richie Rich. I wish to be the one to protect her. I wish you'd shut it! No need to be shy. Admit you love me. It's only natural that I'd fall for you. Shut up, shut up, shut up! And I have fallen for you as well. <laughs> My <laughs> love for you is greater than theirs, by far. Wow, he's stupid. Oh, you guys. What a bunch of pretentious, <laughs> vanilla, arrogant tryhards. And these girls, they're overpowered with personalities to match, but they're still surrounded by pretty boy paramours. <sighs> I just... I... I hate everything about this freaking world! It's finally over. I got the achievement for 100% completion and did it with a reverse harem ending. Oh, man, I'm starving. for a second. Same old countryside. Same old skies. You little idiot! What possessed you to run away like that? The lady is coming to stay. You know better. No, I really didn't know. Unbelievable. <laughs> this is precisely why I loathe you country boys. I'm so sorry, ma'am. Balkan. The whelp doesn't seem very grateful. Kindly remind him who the Blackford family has to thank for its continued existence. That would be you. Best not to forget it, son. That's correct. 
And while you sire illegitimate children, you get to pretend to be a baron instead of a backwater lord because of your marriage to me. You would do well to show the proper respect. Yes, of course. Our apologies. Please forgive us. So, um, why do the others get to stay in the main house while we're hidden away out in the shed? Because Lady Zola despises us. It's nothing new, so I don't get why you're complaining about it now. Does she hate us so much because we're not her kids? Uh-huh. We can't expect much, being the illegitimate sons of her husband's mistresses. Shouldn't you be more worried about studying, though? Otherwise, you might not get married at the Academy. The Academy? <laughs> eh, wouldn't matter if we were elves or beastmen, because we'd have it easy becoming someone's paramour. Paramours? <laughs> Wait, that can't be right. Men must get some respect. Huh? Women hold all the power in this world. Of course, strapping men like you and me don't get any respect. Women have all the power? Wait a minute. I recognize this place. This is the world of that stupid Otome game. And that, my friends, is the story of how I, Leon Faux Bartfort, was reincarnated in the world of that stupid Otome game. No, no, no! What's it been? Ten years since I regained my memories? My family, the Bartforts, didn't appear in the game when I played it before. Basically, I'm a background NPC, or a mob. Since I'd already beaten the game, I figured I could use my existing knowledge to absolutely dominate. And I made note of everything I could remember. Depending on what choices the protagonist made, I could get pulled into full-on wars or minor conflicts. So I stayed on my toes and kept up with my training. But every day that passed on that floating island, my ambitions started to fade. A mob like me should stay in my lane and find happiness in my tucked away role. Uh, or so I thought. In a race, marriage! No way! She is the daughter of a particular court noble, one to whom I happen to owe a great deal. What could possibly have you so perturbed? Are you serious? She's three times my age and been married seven times, and all seven of those husbands died in battle! She's clearly gunning for my survivor's pension! It's a tragic series of mishaps, really. This isn't how I'm supposed to get married, though. I'm supposed to attend the Academy and find a partner there. And who exactly do you expect to pay for this love Academy? I could stomach sending a second son, but there's absolutely no point sending the third in line. Okay. The fact is, we don't have that kind of money to spare. Once in the Academy, you'd have options, but, well... Be appreciative that somebody is willing to marry you. This meeting isn't just the right choice, it's the only choice that you've got. No thanks. I'll take my chances. Silence, you petulant <sighs> mutt. A real man should do whatever is asked of him to support his family. <sighs> Withered, stuck-up old crone. Go ahead, take your chances. If I say the word, you'll be drafted as a soldier. <laughs> is she actively trying to get me killed on the battlefield? You know no one wants to marry a man after he's turned 20. And you have the nerve to grumble and make a fuss. Know your place, boy! Oh, crap. This isn't good. I've got to do something fast or my future's gone. Wait. I know everything about this game and its bonkers world. All I need is money. Is that correct? Huh? I cannot imagine being married to her. Can't be easy for you. Oh, come on, don't say that. I'm just glad she chose to marry me. Listen, Dad. Hmm? I've got a favor to ask you. If this really is that Otome game I beat for my sister, it should still be there. According to this world's calendar, the game's protagonist and I should be in the same grade. If she acquires what I'm looking for, it would be after she enters the academy. Which means she hasn't gotten to it yet. I do feel bad for taking it before she has the chance, but I'll make sure we're even eventually. Hmm? This brings back memories. Looks like a carp queen. I'd use
use these to form experience points for the Prince and his friends early in the game. If I remember correctly, it should be around here somewhere. Uh, hold up. Is it above me? Then most likely... There's the transporter! So I was right! Come on, let's go! Gotta make it through this thing! on some weapons and magic bullets. This looks exactly like it did in the game. It's definitely in there. Sentry robots. I can take them. Electric magic bullets. Get some every time in the game, too. This corridor is also identical to the one in the game. Further evidence of my unfortunate reincarnation. Ugh. Tell me games aren't all love and sunshine. Finders keep. Seeing this in person is a whole new experience. This ancient spaceship was the premium item I bought before I was reincarnated. Now this is sci-fi. The interior of the ship didn't load in game. Intruder detected. Eliminate. Eliminate. <laughs> well, that didn't work, but I've got something that should. Check my badge. I work here. Scan telemetry matches no registered individuals in the database. You are an intruder. You will be eliminated. <laughs> Damn it. So much for that plan to try, though. And at least now we know where we stand, so... <laughs> Eat this! How about that? Stronger bite than the magic bullet! You'll short circuit any minute, right? The intruder's attacks have increased to dangerous damage levels. Activating magic barrier. What? Oh, come on! Not fair! Thank you, intruder. In battle, I have learned that being labeled unfair is a compliment. That wasn't a compliment, you tool! It has been a while since I had a real conversation. Perhaps I am simply excited. Sounds like a great time to say our goodbyes, then. Is that another magic grenade in your hand? With my current yeah. defenses, those are ineffective. You dumb bag of bolts! That was a regular non-magic grenade! I am quite surprised. Yeah. Your kind is obsessed with magic. I did not think you would use this normal type of weapon. I must inquire, what is the year according to the new calendar? 
New calendar? I have no idea, but the whole fort calendar... That answers my question. I see that we lost the war after all. What the hell are you talking about? A new breed of human. I can assume that our old civilization was destroyed when faced by these new humans. They possessed and utilized the power that you refer to as magic. But though the war may have ended, our mission has not. Eliminating new humans like yourself is our top priority. Oh yeah, this is totally that Otome game. This freaking backstory doesn't make any sense at all. After eliminating you, intruder, I shall begin my full-scale attack on the new humans. You gotta be kidding me. I won't let you. Eliminate. 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 Just let me live in peace. Like your average everyday mob. This whole world... is infuriating as hell! What is it that you're doing? That won't work against <laughs> me. Just die, you chatty robot! <laughs> you were trying to use me, weren't you? I cannot allow my hardware to be stolen by new humans. Shut up. I'm just here to collect the overpriced premium item I paid for. This is... Processing. Confirmed. Permission to activate ship has been granted. Finally. I have discovered interesting information from your telemetry data. Despite being a new human, you also possess old human traits. Oh, is that right? <laughs> it is impossible, it is strange, and it is terribly interesting. That's just the Otome game setting. There's nothing strange or interesting about it. Regardless, it doesn't matter because you're mine now. What name shall I call myself? I don't know. I'm pretty sure it was Luxion in the game. Luxion. My new name has been registered. Master? <laughs> Did you know this world exists inside of an insane Otome game? Otome game? There's more. The game's balance is awful. The piece of shit devs expect you to spend real money. That sounds like nothing but nonsense to me. I bet it does. But I'm pretty sure your existence proves just how screwed up the in-game balance is. sister's up to. Maybe next time I'll be reborn someplace cooler. The master's life is in danger. He shall be transported to sick bay immediately. That boy really is an idiot. First he ruins a good marriage offer. Then he ruins his own adventure and gets himself killed. <laughs> Please, we don't even know for sure if Leon is dead. It's been three months since you heard anything from him. I'd be shocked if he was still alive. Or could he simply have abandoned his family? Is this your home, Master? Yeah, your run-of-the-mill floating island. Or it was until today. <laughs> we looted enough treasure on the way back home to make some changes. <laughs> <laughs> Having accumulated a vast amount of wealth, I respectfully declined Zora's marriage offer. And soon after, began attending the Academy, as I had originally intended. Uh. 
that that world, that part of the Otome game, would prove to be tough for a mob like me. Do I detect a chipper mood, Master? Well, duh! Imagining that expression on Zola's face fills my heart with unadulterated glee! And this place... Can you believe we found such a perfect, uninhabited island for an independent knight like myself? I'm glad we spotted it on the way home. Nothing more a baronet could ask for. It would also be profitable as a tourist destination. We could procure some heat-generating crystals and build hot springs. Hot springs, huh? Now that's genius. I'm glad you think so. I've already started construction. It should only take a few months. This is the life. Now I just need to find a wife at the academy, and I can live as a simple backcountry baronet. What? I'm a baron? I mean, yeah. Says right here they're granting you, Leon Fobartford, a barony. But why me? It might have something to do with you clearing a dungeon and then immediately discovering an uninhabited island. Hey, that island is just right for a baronet like me. No, there's a reason I chose to stick with that rank. Because if I become a baron, then I'll have to go to that school. Then you'll be required to marry someone in a much higher echelon, socially speaking. Someone like Zola. <laughs> like Zola? <laughs> that Zola? city built in harmony with nature and located in the middle of a massive floating continent. With over one million residents, the community fashions its lifestyle around the nobility. Man, it's the spitting image of the academy in game. For the next three years, this is where I'll study noble etiquette, the ins and outs of adventuring, and maybe even a little magic, all while looking for a wife. Finally, the place where the game begins. Pick up my bags right this instant! Sorry, mistress. Forgive me. Women really are overpowered in this world. I want to go home. Uh, well, 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 if it isn't a love interest. These are the pretty boys I dated in-game. And ten years later, I still can't stand them. <gasps> Look over there! Uh, That's the red green girl! Angelica. Classic rich girl antagonist, daughter of the Duke who's second in power to the royal family. Naturally, she's the protagonist's rival. Man, she was great at meddling in my romances. She's gorgeous. Of course she is. She's the Duke's daughter. Just about any guy. Well, have fun with that. Enjoy your noble nonsense, lords and ladies. I'll stick to living life in the mob lane. Day ceremonies are a total bore, especially in an isekai. Uh, you just hit me. Do you have any idea who I am? No, I do not. But regardless of who you are, I won't put up with this disrespect. Wait, I know that dialogue. You're not like the other girls at the academy, are you? And I know this event, but something's off. That's not the protagonist. <sighs> She's so familiar. Where have I seen her before? Hello, Master. Hey, Luxion. How was the city? Unimpressive. My technology is vastly superior to what I've seen here. However, I will have to compile more data on the principles of magic. So maybe it was a little impressive then. Tell me how you really feel, you Sundere. Sundere? Are you coming on to me? I am afraid that I cannot reciprocate the intricacies of a human relationship, and therefore cannot accommodate your request. Oh my god, you're the worst. Are you already studying? I am surprised, as I detected no, no not motivation. studying. I'm prepping for a tea party. Daniel, Raymond, you guys got any good leads on girls that are in the same social stratosphere as us? Nope, not a one. Back me up here, Raymond. Nobody, and I don't care who the guests are as long as they show up. The only reason we're planning these tea parties is to impress the ladies. What chance do we have of getting married if we can't even do that right? <sighs> Your Highness, huh? a 
us the news about your tea party, Drew? I'd love to go. Help me in. Competition's gonna be tough this year with the prince and the other nobles hanging around. And all the girls who give us the cold shoulder lose their freaking marbles over these guys. You've got to be kidding me with this. Your Highness, I must speak with you regarding your tea party. Am I invited to the festivities? <sighs> Please, Angelica, don't do this here. Not while we're at the Academy. I know exactly where we are. And yet, it's rather difficult to cut through all the noise in your vicinity. <gasps> Man, she's coming in hot. Don't stare. Act normal. Stay away. Um, pardon me. <gasps> Marie, there you are at last. I heard you called for me, Your Highness. <clears throat> I'll be holding a tea party of my own soon, and I'd very much like you to come. Huh? What are you thinking? <gasps> she doesn't even belong with us. I am here at the Academy as a student. And betrothed though we may be, that doesn't give you the right to meddle in my affairs. Sorry, forgive me, Your Highness. This is an unskippable cutscene in the game. And the main character is supposed to be protected by the prince, but something's not right. I'm so sorry about that, Marie. It's okay. But are you sure I won't be causing too much of a mess by showing up to your tea party? I can confidently say I've never seen the prince jump through so many hoops for a girl. Hey, that's not true, Jilk. And even if it was, I'd like you to be there, if you want. In that case... I will be! <laughs> what is happening? What is a tea party? A mirror of one's manners and indeed one's substance. It's not just the way we conduct ourselves, but the way we move and articulate. From Boring! This is less of an display. etiquette class and more of a sad sausage party. Young Leon. Uh, yes sir? Would you do me the courtesy of pretending to pay attention? trying to convey both the social and metaphysical importance of making your tea party inviting to women. Yes? You don't seem to grasp this, but perhaps you'll pay more attention up here. Please join me. Wow! This is so exciting! <laughs> important stuff, my ass. Tea parties are just dumb pageantry to impress the ladies. You're a genius, sir! <laughs> Do you see the significance now? Of course! I can't believe I ever doubted that all-knowing mustache! I swear, I'll make it my life's work to throw a tea party as godly as yours! There's still so much that this old man has to learn himself. Come now, let us continue this tea party journey together. You got it, sir! I'm in, Master! What just happened up there? I don't know. Impressive. You seem quite motivated after all. I thought your plan was to hire someone so you could, quote, take a load off. It is all thanks to my master. I am a reborn tea party host. This is a spectacular use of rented space. Will an actual woman be joining you? Of course! And she's the daughter of a baron! Perfect timing! Hello, and welcome to... Uh... Hi! It appears you've brought some company yeah, along. Just a couple friends, you know? And their manservant, too. Look at all those snacks! We're going to Brad's tea party here in a little while, but we've got some time to kill until then. So we might as well swing by. Well, where's my tea? Oh god, please no. It tastes alright, I guess. Shouldn't we get going? Oh yeah! Uh... Thanks for the tea and stuff! This was a decent way to bridge the gap between invites. See you later! Later! later. And in the future, maybe spend a little more on snacks if you want to impress any girl. Master, the tea party journey inches down a long and treacherous road. Hey, who do you think you are? Mm. Did Brad even invite you? Know your place, idiot. How pathetic. <laughs> Might as well clean up the trash while you're down there, commoner. Right? Hey, it's her. They call that bullying, correct? My data indicates that she's here on scholarship. Olivia, she's the original protagonist of the game. <laughs> I really didn't want to get involved in the main character's story, but... Madam, yes, you over there! <laughs> want to join me for some tea? Oh, 
good. I don't think I've ever eaten this many delicious desserts. You don't mind? Are you sure? Nah, it was all just gonna get thrown in the trash anyway. <laughs> A decent way to bridge the gap. Well, where's my tea? It's all right, I guess. Should we get going? Oh, wow! This is all so divine. Is this real? She's such a sweetheart. What kind of dumb dumb would call this girl devious? Looks like she's one devious protagonist. <sighs> so before, are things always like that? Honestly, everything seems to go wrong for me around here. Maybe a commoner like me just doesn't belong at a prestigious school like this. Um, I think you totally belong here. You are the protagonist. I really want to focus on studying magic more, but I don't know where to begin. There's just too many weird rules and so many unspoken agreements and... <laughs> uh, please don't cry. I think I know someone with experience that we can count on. She might be the right person to help us. <gasps> you would do that for me? My number eyes! Well now, if it isn't my idiot brother roping me into something stupid. Hello, darling sister who owes me money. You could at least try to make yourself somewhat useful. Olivia, that's your name, right? Have you tried introducing yourself to the most important girl in your class? I haven't. She's surrounded by so many followers that it's hard to get close. In that case, what you need to do is get one of those followers to act as a go-between. And purchase a little gift or two to grease the wheels a bit. Great, now we're bribing people. You came to me for a reason. Now trust the system. Get her snacks from a popular shop. Works every time. Snacks? The kind you get from a popular shop? Those are pretty pricey, right? Get him to pay for it. Hey! You can't just give away all my money! 100. <laughs> 200, dear. <laughs> Don't worry, I can totally cover the cost for you. you up to this, but I will say, it was a bold move to come and introduce yourself. I appreciate you saying that. I'll allow you to sit quietly in the corner, as long as you don't attract too much attention to yourself. Wait, are you saying that it'll be okay for me to keep studying at the academy? <sighs> I, I only mean... You were supposed to sit silently and nod. Then we could have all moved on. Since you had to ask a question, this just got a lot more complicated. What? This isn't about you. I was never trying to push you out of the academy. That would be terribly uncivil. And frankly, I don't have the time. Oh, that makes sense, I guess. I'm really sorry. You're better than that girl who's latched onto the prince, at least. Tell me the truth. Where'd you get the idea to come introduce yourself? Oh, it was Mr. Leon. That's the Bartfort family's son, correct? The one whose achievements gained him a barony? He's a pretty impressive guy, huh? Yes, I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> well, be a blessing or a curse. People may try to take advantage of his skill. <sighs> Damn it! Where the heck are Daniel and Raymond at? Looks like they decided to skip exploration class. If that wasn't bad enough, my classmates are all the protagonist's love interest. Yay. I'm really sorry. For some reason, the others insisted on their attendance. And on top of that... I think they should go first. Let those two handle the dangerous stuff. He's already cleared the dungeon, and she's just a scholarship student. These people are treating us like a couple of hired guards. Scratch that. Me too. Welcome, everyone. This is your chance to put those magic and combat lessons to the test. Please proceed to the third floor of the dungeon and retrieve any crystals you find. And remember, watch out for monsters. Yeah. Yeah. Are you ready? It's now or never. Sure am. That's enough. Hmm? How much clearer do I need to make this? The prince is too noble to be seen with you. I am. Um... Angelica, back off. Your Highness. You're just going to allow this girl to do whatever she pleases? Your Highness, I simply wanted to be by your side in the scary dungeon. If I'm bothering you, please tell me and I'll leave you alone. Brat, I can't believe you're doing this again. <laughs> so, uh, on that note, have you heard anything about this drama mama, Marie? Uh, 
She's the daughter of an impoverished Viscount. And the poor thing has had to put up with bullying even worse than mine. Can you believe she's throughout all of this party oh, wow. with Beyonce? I heard she was pretty friendly with some she other boys as well. I can't even watch. I've had enough! <sighs> Come, Angelica, why are you giving the prince a hard time about something so trivial? Quit bringing your relationship problems into the academy like this. It's seriously annoying. That's not what this is. I'm just trying to do what's best for him. Come on, Marie. Oh, okay. <sighs> Women may hold the power in this world, but it doesn't always work out for them. Bodyguards to enter first. Uh. <gasps> Mr. Leon! We should go get help from the others immediately. Why bother? This is the reason they sent us meat shields ahead in the first place. Oh dear. If I'm being honest, I hope all those wealthy sycophants drop dead. Glad Luxion made me a new sword. Time to test it out. <laughs> Four down, one to go! You were even stronger than I thought. I tried to keep up with my training back home, and you know, that was nothing. I've tangled with a lot worse than a few cranky ants. <laughs> 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 that scared the crap out of me. That's pretty much my fault. You were just protecting me. <laughs> You. Sorry to keep you waiting. We'll handle the rest of these little pests. <laughs> They've got some balls. <laughs> Not afraid, are you, my dear? No, I think I'll be all right. I'm a little worried that the prince might get some cuts and bruises. Wouldn't want to crack that porcelain palace skin. Come on, you can't talk about the prince like that. We're all students now which makes us all equals here. You really don't want to marry this guy, Marie. He's going to put you through the ringer. I'm at the academy in the first place. 
was a scholar discovered my talent. That's so cool. I'm glad I was able to put it to good use for your sake. <clears throat> Freaking hell. She's the protagonist. Why is she gravitating toward a mob like me? I don't know. Something weird is going on. Why is this so different from when I played it? That's Marie's textbook, and her bag was burned as well. You're telling me you really don't know what happened? No, I don't. The girls who started the fire, they said that you ordered them to do it. I promise you I didn't! I don't understand why you won't believe me! You need to stay away from her, and us too for that matter. <gasps> Here on school grounds, our engagements are relevant. Kindly keep your nose out of my business. You guys hear the news? Seems like we'll be single even longer, because a couple of rich bros got engaged. I know. And of course they managed to find me the only two girls that have ever been nice to us. I hope you find happiness one day. Just not with us. I guess we're gonna have to settle for a bunch of aristocratic mean girls. You're right. It's over for us. Might as well pack up. Hey. How's it going with you? Uh, same as you guys. I keep on throwing out invites to tea parties, but nobody's interested. <sighs> in other news, it appears that the prince himself has been caught up in some serious drama. Wait, you're talking about that Marie stuff, right? New girl can't seem to catch a break. Mm. Yeah, and you know the prince's fiance, Angelica? The rumor is that she's the one who's behind the bullying. I heard the prince freaked out when he found out about it. Hold up. I remember this. There was definitely an in-game event where Julius got mad at Angelica. But that wasn't until much later. Marie, what about her? Apparently she's getting bullied. I was wondering if you'd met her or knew anything about it. I've really only spoken to her one time, but then she... <gasps> oh, no! Please don't tell me that you like her too. Like the other guys. <laughs> You don't, then? Not even a little. I think she's terrible. I see. Well, then, that time I spoke to her, she was in the courtyard. I saw her sitting by herself and wondered if she was okay. So I thought it would be nice to check on her in case anything bad had happened. That's when she said, You know, I really despise girls like you. And that's all she said to me. <sighs> girls like you... Something about that phrasing bothers me. Really? Right here? Why not? We're all alone. <clears throat> hey, where are you going? You can't- Oh, yes, I can! Especially when these flings are a matter of life and death around here. You shouldn't go around spying on people. It isn't right! Julius. Uh, as you wish. Thank you. You wouldn't happen to have a personal servant, would you? Oh, I, uh, I don't have that kind of money, so... Then it's settled. It would be a great honor for the prince and me to hire one on your behalf. Wouldn't want you to get lonely without a servant, after all. Uh, oh gosh, thank you so much! A semi-human slave and a sexy prince? I'm a lucky girl! Come, join us. I'll call for a carriage. This is nuts! Women aren't usually escorted by a couple of paramours like this. I am gonna crush it and have so much freaking fun in this Atome Games world! Can you believe this? You're the Duke's daughter and you're not even allowed to have any servants! Just drop it. He knows precisely what it means to gift a woman a demi-human slave. 
He's now telegraphed exactly what their relationship is. But you can't just... I'm sorry. Can you please give me a few minutes? She was there for me. As repayment for her empathy, I will defend her. Why do you always have to overcomplicate this stuff? Just admit it, man. You've got the hots for her. She is a stupendously breathtaking woman. Of course I'm falling for her. You're not wrong. She's a marvel. Which is why, in my humble opinion, I believe I've fallen for her the hardest. <clears throat> you haven't. <sighs> for it is I who have fallen the hardest. I love her most. Ah! 
You and I are no longer a we. It's only Marie. I don't believe that. Calling off their engagement? The Duke's daughter is just the Duke's daughter now. Pick it up. Pick it up, you lowly two faced little beggar. A duel? It's a duel. If she picks up the glove, she accepts the challenge. Ah, the duel event. In game, the protagonist is challenged to battle, and in her stead, the love interest with the highest affection rating volunteers as a tribute. Very well. Go ahead. I'll happily take up arms and fight in your honor. Are you kidding? Gee, didn't see that coming. You expect me to stand by while the prince gets all of the attention? I, too, will fight on your behalf. All right, if Jilk's doing it, I'm gonna do it, too. This is the closest thing to a challenge I've had in a while. I can't believe you called Maria a two-faced beggar. Count me in as well. My skills with a sword can't be matched. As a matter of honor, I will strike as her swift blade. You guys, this is scary stuff. But I feel fine with you by my side. Hey, don't forget about me, mistress. I can provide great moral support. Aw, thanks, Kyle. Okay, yep, this has to be how girls feel when they see a harem. I feel so... Sucks to be the Duke's daughter right now. She's got to go up against the prince. I don't think anybody wants to be in her shoes. Anyone, please? <sighs> oh, that blows. Your followers just gave you the cold shoulder. This is a sad state of affairs for a pseudo-royal. It doesn't matter who volunteers for Angelica. If the protagonist wins the duel, and they likely will, it's a massive game over for the Duke's daughter. She'll head straight off into exile. And settle for some boring lord beneath her station. And it's all misery and sadness from there. How much further will she degrade herself? She'll just go run and cry to her daddy. You made your choice. I hope you're prepared to fight. I'm ready to put this all behind us. I... I thought you would... It's not even like we're friends or anything. Every time I want to fade into the background, I just can't. Where are you going? Dude! Not oh, good. You know, it's about time those Dumbos eat a fat one. Oh, hey! How's it going, everyone? Just popping in to volunteer as a champion! Who's that guy? I don't know. He's a country noble, right? Wait, is this the boy whose claim to fame is clearing a dungeon and finding an island? Yeah, I think you're on to something. That you, country boy? Hmm. Hey, let me help you. You just need to appoint me as your champion. Go on. The only words you need to say are I accept. Uh, I accept. Hmm. Well, it's official, boys. I, Leon Faux Bartford, will be fighting for this lady's honor. Since the five of you gracefully volunteered to defend little old Marie here, I vote that I, being the underdog and all, get to propose the terms of our delightful duel. Hmm, Marie. I sent Lucian to analyze her data and he confirmed my suspicions. She's like me. She's definitely not from this world. If I had to guess, she's been reincarnated. What you think? Got any demands for your opponent, Ms. Angelica? Just stay away from the prince. That's the only thing I've ever wanted. You'd go to any length to keep the two of us apart. Maybe you were the lowly beggar the whole time. Yeah, yeah, we get it. The whole jilted lover pit. Can we move on to your demand so we can get this party started? Come on now, chop chop. Hey, if my champions prevail, you I have to stop being, being so cruel. cruel. In the event that we win, the Prince and Marie have to split up. In the event that we lose, Angelica has to abstain from interfering with the Prince's love life. All parties agree? We agree. Now it's time to iron out the details of our duel. 
Any objections to an armored brawl in the arena? I get the feeling you think you can beat us. I'll fight wherever. You'll never win. Oh, really? What makes you so confident I'm gonna lose this fight? We saw you earlier. Going after those poor girls and getting shot down. You're just in this for attention, not a serious challenge. <sighs> He's the worst. I gotta say, I'm getting some insecure vibes from you about our big boy armor battle in the arena. Would you prefer a quick gentleman's debate instead? Huh. Now, between you and me, I'm not exactly a master debater. But if you insist on solving this with verbal fisticuffs, I guess I simply wouldn't have a choice. May the best man win or whatever. Cut the crap. I'll solve this with my fist, right? You have a deal. We will agree to your side's terms and conditions in the arena. You can bring up to four companions into battle. The only companion I need is me. We'll fight 1v1 over five rounds. You must be joking. You're aware that this could be a matter of life and death. Oh, I know. I'm just surprised that you guys aren't more shaken. I'm even shocked that you aren't afraid to get those fancy boots dirty. <laughs> well, I thought I heard that you were an experienced combatant, but you obviously miscalculate your opponent's strength. All right, Chilk. Take it easy. Leon, is that right? The next time we see you, it's over. <laughs> you drop this. In case it wasn't clear, I'm ready to duel. And if I were you, I wouldn't get too attached to that new girlfriend of yours. Who the hell is that freaking mob? Why is he forcing his way into my personal storyline? I can't wait for him to lose this battle. Morning, mistress. I brought breakfast. Why didn't you wait for me to invite you in? I'll do better from now on. Today's offering has some extra vegetables. Hm. You know I don't like those. Well, you should at least eat some of them. You're pretty bad at this whole mistress thing. In the game, this turd was an adorable, ill-tempered younger brother character. Having to put up with him every day is getting on my last nerve. B-E-A, beautiful. While you were gone, we were visited by a group of student vandals. I took the liberty of recording the event. Aw, they even got Daniel and Raymond in on it. They failed the friendship test. Nah, they're trying to climb the social ladder, that's all. You still have so much to learn. Students are placing bets on the outcome of the duel. That tiny red sliver is you. I'm more popular than that! This pie chart indicates the opposite, I'm afraid. Got it! Now run along, I need 500 platinum coins ASAP. Bartfort, I think you need to forfeit the duel. Huh? Why now? Aren't you worried about your reputation? I saw what those morons did to your room. I'm not worried about me. But I would rather you not suffer on my account. Uh... My family has already reprimanded me in no uncertain terms for my rash actions. If I'm lucky, I'll be placed under house arrest. I have nothing to offer you. I'm powerless now. We may have gotten some wires crossed here. Do you think I'm trying to curry favor with your father? Well, why else would you sacrifice yourself? I'm sick of all the stupid tea parties and matchmaking. So I got to thinking, why not beat the crap out of some dude bros that I hate and call it a day? I heard that people who wander into the dungeons have a few screws loose. The rumors are true. That's not cool. I did this because I thought I had a good chance of winning. And correct me if I'm wrong, but aren't you the one who threw the first I, glove? I know, and I'm really sorry I made a mistake. You don't have to keep rubbing it in. Still, it doesn't matter. I really appreciate that you volunteered, but... You can stand down. There's no need to risk your life for me. <laughs> I get it. I've heard the five of them are strong. Maybe to some. And by some, I mean... Not me. That suit looks great. I wish I had an arm to pat myself on the back for making it. This isn't what we talked about. I need you to redo it now. I would rather not. Why do I even try? Hey, Leon! Huh? What's up? Um, I just... I know I can't offer you much at all, but I'm here, and you have my support. Oh, you put your money on me, didn't you? Well, if that's the case, prepare to win big. Huh? No, I didn't bet. I don't believe in the practice of gambling. Uh, of course. Quite the color palette.
salad. Die! You don't belong here, Fart Fort. I hope you lose. Shut your butt, hey, Stapleton. <laughs> about that. Arrogance approaching. It wasn't clear. I'm ready to duel.
I'm shocked to see you aren't cowering in a corner. I can respect that. But respect's not gonna help you beat me in that antique piece of machinery. I know that purple armor. Looks like my first fight's with Brad. This guy... He's as skilled in magic as he is narcissistic. Since he's the smallest of the five, he compensates with bravado and flair. Dude gave me so much frickin' trouble in the game. Behold my armor, created by none other than Master Craftsman Altanter himself. Using ingots smelted with tertium, he forged this beauty with increased magical conductivity in mind. When you're bragging like that, do you ever stop and think, maybe I'm giving away all my secrets? What? He appears to have an array of drone-like weapons equipped on his back. Shall I prepare any defensive countermeasures? Don't worry about it, I know a strat. Plus, purple's a weak color for babies! Your attitude is truly infuriating. We should equip our weapons for battle. Done. Equipping backpack blade number one. Wait, is that a frickin' shovel? Why, yes it is. On your last grand adventure, you insisted on digging a number of random holes. Why didn't you switch it back? Doesn't matter, just give me a blade. But it was you, wise master, who assigned the weapon slot. You totally did this on purpose, didn't you? I mean... I guess I can make this work. Get a load of yokel! Is that a shovel? <laughs> He's such a disgrace. You! How dare you mock me with that farmer's tool! Dude, I'm just as surprised as you are. Champions! Please state your names! My name is Leon Faux Bartford. And I am the Brad Faux Field. On my mark! Fight! I'll kill you with one mighty blow! Prepare to die! I'm the only one celebrating. Huh? My master? <laughs> Forever the mustachioed gentleman. Wait, what? What just happened? It was over so fast I couldn't tell. <laughs> I can't believe he defeated him so quickly. That was amazing. It really was. How was he so agile? Those movements seemed impossible for a machine so heavy. Brad's custom armor is newer, tailor-made by the Field family. What's gonna happen? Poor Brad. They're gonna win the next round, right? I put every cent I had on the Prince! <laughs> hey, why are you laughing so hard? What's so funny? This entire situation's absurd! That dreadful Baron is actually winning! That's not fair! He's not dreadful at all! He's a good person! <laughs> I guess he's okay. But still, if he's so strong and capable, why'd he choose to defend me instead of siding with the Prince? A choice like this could ruin his future. It all makes sense now. He was so cocky at the party because he had this armor to fall back on. That rusty beast must be a lost item. I knew they existed, but I never would have guessed that there were any of these powerful relics left. Looks like I'm up. Brad's a bit too delicate for this. I'll bring that hunk of metal to its knees. Champions, prepare for round two! Get a break! Go! Leon Faux Bartfort. Greg Faux Seaberg. I have identified numerous repairs to the outer shell. It would appear that he's had a lot of combat experience inside that armor. I get it. He's 
been in a couple of scuffles. Hey, farm boy, you didn't win that last battle because you're tough. You won because your armor is. I'll admit you're right, but I thought we decided against a gentleman's debate. Want to do this over tea instead? I will destroy you. On my mark, fight! items. Man, I had so many game overs because of this big-headed brute! Quit wearing the uh, same uh, half-produced uh, garbage uh, you always do! Uh, that sense of pride is gonna be the death of you! Uh, 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 I've got you now! <laughs> Get your paws off me, damn it! I'll think about it, and no! <laughs> no, it's okay. The pilot doesn't feel a thing. Ooh, shiny leg! I'll take you like this! You enjoy torturing me? You're only winning because of your armor! Yeah, duh! You're the one who chose to fight that beat-up old pile of crap! Fun fact! The outcome of any contest is decided during the preparation phase! <laughs> Aren't you glad you made excuses instead of plans? You only lost because you're wearing the same old gear you always do. Damn you! I won't admit defeat! I'll fight to the death even if I have to fight without my armor! You can't be serious, dude. Shut up! Be a man and fight me! I don't make it my priority to go around bullying the defenseless. Unlike you and your friends. What did you just say to me? I said that I don't bully the defenseless! What did you get about that? You don't know what you're talking about. When have we ever mistreated somebody weak? <laughs> oh boy. It freaks me out when people have no self-awareness. Add this to the list of reasons I can't stand entitled nobles. <laughs> Nevertheless, you're defenseless nobody. And since I'm not a bully like you, I'd prefer to get this over with. You understand what's happening now, don't you? taken enough of a beating today. <sighs> Round three! Listen carefully. I won't underestimate you like those other two did. Prepare to fight at full strength! Oh, really? I suppose I'll take this fight seriously, then. For your sake, I hope you're being honest. Be careful what you wish for, dude. Chris, the young master swordsman. He's typically not very expressive and comes off as a bit cold. So he's at his best when he's using his sword, but that only happens during combat. Which is why he's a huge pain in my ass. On my mark, fight! <laughs> what the? Uh, Luxion, send in the drones. As you wish. are just weak. If you need me to, I can hold back a little. I'd love to give you a chance to realize your true chivalrous potential. <laughs> That's it! I've had enough! Magnificent! You really are a master swordsman! Impossible. How could I have lost? I've worked harder than anyone else. I'm sure Marie still has a shoulder for you to cry on. I realize that I may have gone a little overboard. Oh my god, seriously? You've been 
Chris? You're kidding! There goes all my money! This is bad. It would be one thing if I lost the duel, but I cannot let that happen to the prince. I will protect him, no matter the cost. I got a message from my brother. Did you find him? No, not anywhere. Oh. Leon, thank goodness. Huh? We were worried, Bartfort. You were worried? About what? Your sister said you didn't look so good. She asked us if we could check on you and make sure you were doing okay. She seemed anxious and said you should forfeit the next round. I had no idea Jenna cared that much. Wake up, you idiot! She has a funny way of showing it. Is it true? Is there something going on we don't know about? Well, there is something I've been holding in for quite a while. It's this. I gotta pee. Oh, I can see how that would make you unwell. You should watch your language. You're speaking to ladies, after all. My apologies. I've just been off picking pretty flowers. Or I would have been if there were flowers in the arena. <laughs> Guess there wasn't any reason to worry. Guess not. Master, your sister has rigged arrogance with explosives. It seemed a strange way to show familial love until I found out your next opponent coerced her. Yep, that doesn't surprise me at all. She's probably still upset that I didn't back out of my fight with the prince. Jilk saw that as an opportunity and pounced. The explosives were planted on the back of your armor. Scans indicate that they are likely triggered by a special type of magic. I remember those explosives being part of the game. Not that I ever used them. Based on the quantity of explosives used, the impact would be enough to kill the pilot if this were standard armor. But this armor's not exactly standard, is it? It's always the gentlemanly types who end up being the most sinister. Common trope, sadly. <laughs> You're very strong. I respect that. Gee, that's so kind, thanks. On my mark, fight! That's a smoke screen. Aw, he's too nervous to fight with the lights on? Cute. You made the choice to end your life the moment you challenged the prince. I will at least give you the courtesy of a quick and glorious death. Is he dead? What? That anti-armor projectile would have pierced the hull of a standard model without any resistance. But it didn't leave so much as a scratch. You give me no choice. I didn't want to have to use this. Ready? Oh, yeah. <gasps> Don't take this personally. I did what I had to to protect the prince. <laughs> Boo! Up here! How? Oh, you survived the explosion? It was a heavy blow. And not just for me, it seems. Why are you so determined to fight the prince anyway? Your life as a noble will be over. That's exactly what I want. And just like my favorite green noble, I'll do whatever it takes. Are you going to kill the prince? Wouldn't that be lovely? You'd have less competition. No, the prince and I aren't competitors. We both truly love Marie. And if your intention is to harm him in any way, I won't stop until your entire family pays for what you've done. Uh? Was that a threat? Should we let the Prince and Marie know they're part of a bloody payback scheme? I bet they wouldn't be too happy to hear about their involvement. <laughs> what proof do you have that I even said that? And if your intention is to harm him in any way, I won't stop until your entire family pays for what you've done. <sighs> Apparently these ancient clunkers were equipped with the finest voice recording tech in the kingdom. Who oh, no. knew? <laughs> you coward! I'm the coward?! Threatening your opponent's family because you're losing seems pretty cowardly to me. 
Oh, and remember the time you raped my armor with explosives? I think it's your life as a noble that's over. <laughs> Silence, name! <sighs> this has dragged on way too long. <sighs> I'm done with this. Just die already. <sighs> strongest armor available, huh? His armor has a fancier appearance than his cohorts, but I can confirm it's purely cosmetic. Great! I'll go attack it then. <laughs> Woo! You can do it, friend! Me too! Please don't die! Is it just me, or does it seem like these people really hate losing money? I'm certain they would celebrate your brutal, ceremonious defeat. Perhaps they misinterpret your charming actions and words as hellishly annoying. Dude! Stop saying stuff like that about your master! Swing and a miss! I will not lose to this Baron! This is for you, Marie! With your love, I shall not fail! I must admit, he puts on a good show. Hey, why be nice to him but not me? Your Highness, you've got a lot of fight in you compared to your colorful friends. Maybe they simply weren't giving it their best effort. After all, if you lose, the other four don't have to compete with you for Marie's attention. That's nonsense. You don't know anything about our special love. You're right, I don't. But even naive old me can see that the situation can't go on like this. Tell me, how does it feel to truly love someone? I'm afraid that's outside my area of expertise. Oh, I know. How else could you intrude like this? And if you do truly love one another, you should kindly step aside. Wait, you're not talking about Ms. Angelica, are you? She's madly in love with you, dude. That's why we're standing in this arena. She's not. How can she be if she doesn't even know how I feel? She's like all the other women at the royal palace. None of them saw the real me. 
that I never wanted to be born into nobility in the first place. Maria's different. She's the only one who understands me. The only one who loves me as I am! So, what you're telling me is you were duped by the first plebeian chick to walk by. <laughs> Pathetic! That's enough! I'm done listening to you gloat. The only reason you're so arrogant is because you're hiding inside that powerful armor! Is this fun for you? Do you enjoy being condescending? How does it feel? It feels real good. This is absolutely freaking phenomenal. And yeah, you bet I can be a little arrogant. Because no matter what you do, you guys still can't manage to beat me. It must suck losing to someone you thought of as so far beneath your level. Doesn't it, Princeling? You no good lowly bastard! You didn't want to be born into royalty? Screw you, man! Tell me this. Are nobles bought and sold by pervy old hags at the risk of their lives? Wait, what? Do royals like you have to bend over backwards to impress a group of girls, only to have them ruin your perfectly divine tea party? What about being pushed around for just trying to have a lovely conversation with a few ladies? Do you have any idea how that feels? Hey, what are the two of you blubbering about? Say what you want, I won't give up! I will not stop fighting until one of us is dead! If you're able to take Marie away from me, I'll accept my eternal fate! I guess he wasn't lying. He means it. Oh, Julius, you really do love this girl, don't you? No! This is all wrong! Uh, uh... What are you saying? Maybe the prince's feelings are genuine and he does love Miss Marie. And she him. But still... That doesn't mean Miss Angelica can't also love the prince! She's been watching this entire battle in an obvious state of anguish! No matter how much it hurts, how much it crushes her, she hasn't taken her eyes off of him for one second! Say whatever else you want, but you can't tell me that's not love! Man, she was super loud. No speakers, no magic, nothing but her voice. Indeed, a mystery for the ages. What's her angle anyway? She may have this powerful mob wrapped around her finger, but there's still not enough room in this world for the both of us. Angelica? You mean the woman who saw me only as the prince and nothing else? I don't think so. I found someone who sees me for who I really am inside. She just gets me. Now that's true love. Angelica. What you're feeling isn't real love. It's a facade. If you hear what I'm saying, stay out of my life! Let us continue. I don't consider this duel over until one of us is dead. I really do admire your willingness to sacrifice yourself for this girl. But even I would never attempt to kill the Crown Prince. Which is great for you. You're gonna win because of a technicality. And even though you deliver these grand monologues about not wanting to be a prince, you make great use of that status. Truly commendable. Now go on, you pretty boy. Ask me to give up. Order me to surrender so you don't have to live in a world without your precious little Marie. Well, what are you waiting for, your highness? What? You know I can't order that. It would defile the sanctity of the duel. Ah, uh, wait, I see now. You'd prefer if I pretended to lose this. But that would be pretty obvious, don't you think, eh? I mean, please. No one would buy you making a grand comeback at this stage of the game. Not even that pack of idiots out there! This guy is truly awful. Your Highness, don't let him win again! Drop dead, shit high! Do my sensors detect that you feel unusually proud of yourself? Look, I'm just trying to get him to come to his senses. This dude's gonna rule the kingdom someday. Can't let someone like Marie make a fool of him. You became the villain to be the hero? You seem to enjoy that too much. Yeah, it was pretty fantastic. Launch force! Your Highness, can we have a serious chat man to man? Release me, fiend! Ostracizing Angelica and the Redgrave family will have very real consequences for you. You could be stripped of your noble status and your right to the throne. Do you really want to choose Marie over everything else in your life? You get what I'm saying? All you have to do is apologize to her and her fit don't need it. Huh? I don't need my empty status or lonely throne. 
The only thing I truly need is... Marie. Luxion. <laughs> Physical analysis complete. I can confidently guarantee the pilot's safety. Sometimes it's hard to hold back. You know what I mean? Impact. Conscious. That's good to hear. I appreciate your assistance today. Please allow me to thank you later. I have to ask, why were you so nasty to everyone? The audience was very upset by your behavior. I'm not the bad guy they want. I'm the bad guy they need. Huh? There's nothing to worry about because, well, I'm probably leaving the school. I'm just glad you're doing okay. You know I'm here for you, Your Highness. How can you be so unrepentant? Everything I've ever done, it's all been for you. Yeah, yeah. Do you even know what my favorite food is? I do! When it comes to soups, you like the seabird- You're wrong. The grilled skewers I had after I snuck out were amazing. I would never have known. Because growing up, I was always told that peasant food wasn't fit for a prince. But Marie, she knew otherwise. She recognized that I was unhappy. She took me to a food stall to make me smile. It felt like fate. And yes, I understand how discourteous this is to you and your family, but Marie is the only one I can truly love. But isn't there something? I still want to be by your side. I'm sorry. I just can't love you. understand now. Please take good care of yourself. I'll pray for your happiness from afar. I wish you would have saved us all some trouble by saying that sooner. I don't have any connections with the royal palace. So I thought, since you're the head of the Red Brave family, maybe you would help me. Well then, are you here to petition me to clean up the messes you've made? Yeah, I guess I am. Basically, I want my life to be spared and my family not to be held liable. Since you were the only one to volunteer to be my Donna's champion, I suppose that I can be of assistance. I'll forfeit my new knighthood. I also intend to decline the barony I'm being offered. I don't care about any of it. Hmm. You could have avoided this trouble as easily as you slipped into it. What are you trying to do here? Oh, you know, I just wanted to take those hunky blowhards down a few notches, and, luck permitting, escape the wife-hunting hellscape. It was for the kingdom! My goal was to lay bare Marie's deceit, to protect his royal highness! <laughs> if what you say is true, consider me impressed. Angie's engagement to Prince Julius has been officially broken off, now that it's clear how ill-suited they were for each other. Now then, I do have one request of you. I'm listening, sir. This incident has left my dear daughter in utter disarray. I would love for her to rest in the countryside for a while, where she might find some peace. That's not so bad. Small price to pay to avoid execution and escape wife hunting at the academy. I will be sad about a few things. Cherish tea time with my masters put on hold. And there's Daniel. Raymond. Not to mention all the desserts in the cafeteria I never got to try. <sighs> Without realizing it, I was actually enjoying certain aspects of Academy life. He forfeited his status, sacrificed what honor he had, and even gave up part of his wealth. It's true. He volunteered to fight for my daughter when no one else would, and made enemies of everyone in the process. His actions exemplify what a knight should be. But appearances can be deceiving. It just feels foolish now. Nothing I said was ever going to get through to the prince. It was pure selfishness. <laughs> <laughs>
And all it did was make poor Leon an outcast. I think you're putting way too much pressure on yourself. Leon knew what he was doing. He said he was playing the villain to be the hero, so he had to know that he would be cast out. It doesn't matter. I went to see the prince before I properly thanked Leon. I'm such a terrible person. Oh, Angelica. This is tremendously depressing. Will you not at least attempt to console them? Do you expect me to waltz over there and say something sweet and uplifting? Words aren't going to magically fix things, so I think I'll just avoid getting involved. Your inaction is refreshingly meritless. I can always count on your honesty, pal. Dinner is ready to be served. The Duke's maids are preparing her room while we await her arrival. Ah, we can thank my half-wit son. First, he picked a public fight with the prince, and then he has the bright idea to bring home a duke's daughter. Has he no consideration for my poor heart? Who are all of these people? Oh, Out oh. of my way! <laughs> the royal capital is in an uproar thanks to your incompetence and foolishness! I know. I am completely thunderstruck myself. Call that mongrel here this instant! Welcome to the Bartford Estate, my lady. Well, hello, my lady. Just whose daughter are you, anyway? I'm Angelica Redgrave. <laughs> so, you must be Lady Bartford. Your son, Lord Leon, has proven to be quite capable in assisting with my affairs. <laughs> He's kindly offered to let me stay. I have accepted his offer and will spend my holiday here. Isn't this just splendid? Please make yourself at home, my dear. Well, would you look at the time? I'm afraid I must be leaving now. Good luck with these two working against you. 
Wait, what do you mean? You're all being disinherited? And you're losing your status as nobility? It's exactly what it sounds like. I no longer have the title of Crown Prince. <laughs> now I can have a genuine relationship with you. Each of us has made up our own minds. This is a decision we all made together. Sorry it took so long. Marie. What? This makes freaking morons! This means they're just a bunch of unemployed rich kids! Now, as per the conditions of the duel, I can't remain by your side. But I'll cheer you on from afar. <laughs> You've got nothing to worry about. We'll protect her for you. We'll get some sweet revenge on Leon for you, too. It wouldn't be any fun if we all stayed stagnant. Perhaps we should start adventuring and find our own lost items. It's a relief to know that you four will be looking after her in my stead. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. The fancy dresses, the luxurious meals, the royal life I had always dreamed of. It's all... It's all... Why is this happening to me? <laughs> oh, Marie. I'm so happy you're crying tears of joy. Between the broken engagements, the duel, and the prince's disinheritance, there's been quite the uproar at the palace. Uh-huh. Please, what's going to happen to my family? Nothing to be afraid of, good sirs. Neither Lord Leon nor your family will be held responsible. Thank you. Hey. That's fantastic news. Uh, it's a good thing I had that meeting with Angie's dad. In fact, quite the opposite. Lord Leon will be granted a formal title from the king himself. Mm -hmm. You were the knight, after all, who admonished the prince for his foolish behavior. Uh. You're in the upper sixth royal ranking. Congratulations, Lord Leon. Ah! Nobody said I would get a freaking promotion! Turns out, it's pretty unprecedented for a 16-year-old to be knighted, even in the whole Fort Kingdom. It was Julius's own parents, the king and queen, who granted me the title. I'm sure they must have had some complicated feelings about knighting their son's destroyer. Also, receiving the royal palace's recognition meant that I wasn't going to leave the academy anymore. What's he doing here? Didn't he leave the academy? Ugh, this sucks. Looks like finding a wife will be easier than ever. I have news regarding Marie, Julius, and his acquaintances. Apparently, they've chosen to stay together. Yeah, I figured that would happen. It seems that they've channeled their formal marital passions away from each other and into a passion for running dungeons together. They're training to defeat you, Master. Since they've lost their parental trust funds, they've had to resort to making their own money. I detect that they're having a wonderful time. All of them except Marie. My, what unusually great news you bring today. I'm gonna sleep so freaking well tonight. <laughs> hey, there you are. We've been looking for you everywhere. Are you all alone again? Oh yeah, just me, myself, and I. Thanks for bludgeoning my soul with your honesty. My goodness, we need to work on that dark vocabulary of yours. If you're not busy, you should join us. We found a crapery that sounds super tasty. Now come on, let's go. Yeah, get up, hurry. I can't believe I get to hang out with these two lovely ladies all the time. And I can't get weird with either of them. Oh man, the world of Atomi... the fancy stuff at a school festival. Well, I squeezed a lot out of those dumb gamblers. I figured I'd be nice and give something back. Read the room, man. You do realize that most of the students hate you, right? You guys? Uh-oh. Does this outfit look weird on me? It's not what I'm used to, so I feel kind of strange. Nope. You look totally unweird. Hmm. This emphasizes my bust a little too much. I don't know, you seem comfortable in it. Duke's daughter or not? I would hope so. I spent two years at the Royal Palace studying etiquette. You look great, Livia. <laughs> the style meshes nicely with your genuine innocence. Ah, oh, thanks. I actually kind of like it myself. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen anything so precious. Too bad. Fixed in this Atomic Games absurd setting. I can't have a love life with either of them. <laughs> I'm just a mob character after all. I must say, your hair is quite pretty. 
Thank you, that's very sweet, but I wish I had a nice body like yours. Are these real girls that go to our actual academy? I feel like I'm in a beautiful dream. Leon! Stop what you're doing and listen to me. Look who's here. Nice to see you. Now, could you please leave? What are you doing? You shouldn't speak to your sister that way. Your friend's right. Shouldn't my brother be consoling me or serving me tea? Ah, uh, yes. This is what girls are normally like at the academy. My dream is dead. What's going on? Don't leave me hanging after that entrance. Well, I, I had a fight with one of my good friends. Oh, let me guess. You were fighting over a boy. <laughs> we were. He's the heir of a Viscount. A prime piece of bachelor real estate who's about to become very wealthy. Did your friend steal him out from under you or something? It was me. Huh? She definitely had her eye on him first, you know? So I thought I'd just hit on him a little bit. <laughs> then you're in the wrong. We're done here. You need to step up and settle this for me. So, I don't know, threaten her maybe? Wait, I, I don't think that's a good idea. Shut it, Little Miss Scholarship. <sighs> Make all the demands you want. I'm not doing anything for you. And don't you dare be mean to Olivia. Because if something happens to her, <laughs> you'll have to deal with uh, Angie. Yes. Being Leon's sister earns you no mercy from me. Fine. I guess I'll be on my way. You're a spineless, no-good idiot. Thank you, Leon. It's incredibly sweet of you to worry about me like that. Must avert eyes. Quick! Something terrible is happening! In the other tea room, next door! I hope to see you there. You're all welcome. Oh, yes, I'll totally be there, too. I'm going to spend so much money. We hope you'll join us at Cafe Princess. Ah! I can't believe he's opening a cafe next door to us. That seems intentional. Huh? <laughs> Leon Bartford, I heard you were running your own cafe as well. If you're interested, I implore you to stop by ours. <laughs> You'd be welcome anytime. This annoying clown. Is that too low cost? Marie informed us that it was an appropriate price. How could I set foot in such an expensive place? I don't think I can muster enough courage. Yeah, that's a normal reaction to have. Just pretend that their cafe doesn't exist. You seem confident as usual, but I can assure you we won't lose this time. Hold on, why are you following me? Moi? Because I'm the kind of guy who's honest with himself, and I'm curious, so I thought I'd pop by and see it. Well, show me what you got. <laughs> A frickin' host club, really? Look who's back, and shamefully scanning the competition I see. This is totally unfair! Getting to see your face red with frustration makes this endeavor worthwhile. It seems we were right to trust Marie and follow her suggestions. Oh, great, she's still around. This time... We will be victorious. No running off just because you think you'll lose. What are we competing for? It's a school festival! Can you even call a setup like this a cafe? The atmosphere feels more like a bar, uh, and they're charging exorbitant prices. Of course we are! Oh. Julius and his entourage descended from illustrious families. And they'll be the ones cranking out tea and sweets to our guests! Man, you are always up to no good, aren't you? And you're always interfering with my plans, aren't you? <laughs> Let me guess. You're the princess the cafe's name refers to? Princess? That's rich. You're just jealous because I'm a princess at heart. Marie, no matter what happens, you'll always be our princess. You're so sweet. Since we're sharing pleasantries, you're incredibly disagreeable for a background mob. You know that? I'm excited to see what happens the day of the festival. Though I suspect that your cafe won't be very busy. So we'll just use it as our personal break room. And we'll be paying top dia. So you'd better serve some proper tea. Don't worry. When it comes to tea, I don't mess around. I could never break my master's heart like that. Well, we're planning on a play over here. How about a haunted house? It starts tomorrow. All right. I need to do my part, too. Where should we go next? There's so much to choose from. Uh, no, right? Excuse me. Uh, what do you want, scholarship girl? I, I'm promoting our group's cafe. Wait a minute. Do you mean Bartford's cafe? Yes, that's right. We would never go there. You know, I think the fact that he likes you has gone to your head. Drop your little act, commoner. That's all you are. 
I didn't mean to. You might want to back off. I'm pretty sure she's friends with the Duke's daughter. And you definitely don't want to be on the Redgrave's bad side. It could endanger your whole family. Hm. So you're running a cafe? <laughs> we are. That's pretty neat. It sounds fun. So nice to meet you. I'm Carla Faux Wayne. Festival? This should be entertaining. I can't wait to see you, Baron Barfort. Listen up! Today's the first day! I need you on your A-game, okay, fellas? Yes, yes sir. sir. And ladies, take plenty of breaks. And, uh, you know, enjoy the festival and whatnot. <laughs> hey, dude, that's not fair! I'm starting to feel really nervous. Hey, this is my first time working in a cafe as well. It's kind of exciting, though. Ms. Angelica? The executive committee wants you. Please proceed to their headquarters at once. Your Majesty, I cannot oblige such an unreasonable request. <laughs> oh, darling, I'm not asking a lot. I just need you to humor me and my whims. Let's not forget how much trouble I went through for you. I know you did, I'm sorry. If you can believe it, I've never attended a school festival. My, it's been a long time since I last saw you in a maid's uniform. Yes, I appreciate everything you did for me back then. <sighs> Lady Malene, she's the queen of Holtfort Kingdom. She's also the prince's mother. And thanks to everything she's given me, I'm forever indebted to her. You seem very happy here. It's a relief to see you looking so well. Thank you. I've been enjoying my time at the academy. Hmm. Could it have anything to do with this Leon character? Uh, um, about that, do you really intend to meet with him today? Yes, of course. It was Julius' own fault for being disinherited, and I accept that. But I do not accept the way Leon handled himself in the arena. I'm just as responsible for the duel as Leon. It's not that. It's what happened during the duel I'm unhappy about. As his mother, I apologize for my son's actions. I'm so sorry, truly. Oh, don't, please! But still, I can't believe that Julius was fooled so easily. This academy is, well, it's even worse than I thought. What? You're charging money for this? This garbage should be free. Please, I'll try harder next time. <sighs> what a nasty place. Blowhards are so shameless. Huh? Uh. You have a new customer. Take me to my seat. <laughs> it's time to become utterly bothersome to Leon. And I expect your assistance. Yes, but I work here, so it doesn't seem right. Don't get cold feet on me. Come on, I'll just complain about the tea being lukewarm or something. We'll have him remake it. It'll be fun. This tea is lukewarm. <laughs> Make me a new cup now. I'm sorry. I'll make you a new cup right away. I think I'll pass. Your tea leaves are probably terrible anyway. I don't have to pay for anything, do I? That tepid rubbish was disgusting. As a matter of fact, you should be paying me. I expect you to pay for your tea. What? Do you know how much money you cheated us out of by betting on yourself in that duel? Some girls even had to sell their slaves! Wait, I... What am I witnessing here? <sighs> Quiet for once! Say something, you scumbag! <clears throat> Angie, no! <clears throat> your attitude is dreadful and repulsive. We don't need your patronage. <laughs> Oh, look, is that Angelica, the girl the prince cast aside like she was nothing? Please! What's with that dress? Are you trying to embarrass your father and get tossed out by him, too? This girl. She's Count Offrey's daughter. They're a rival family. You expect me to be intimidated right now? By a noble who's fallen from grace! Would you please stop it? Livia... How can you be so cruel to people who've done nothing to you? I think that it's time for you to leave! Huh? You better not push your luck with me, you filthy commoner. Do you think you can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with the big girls now? 
All because Angelica decided to adopt you as her pretty little pet. Her pet? I've heard quite enough from you. I'll make you pay for this. What? Cozying up with filth now because you've lost your noble friends? <sighs> Do you remember what you once said before? That commoners are nothing but numbers to you. <gasps> you said that, Angie? Uh, I can explain what I meant was... She meant that commoners aren't people. And being friends with a mildly capable sleaze knight and a duke's daughter doesn't change a thing. You need to shut your freaking mouth right now. Huh? Don't get ahead of yourself down there, shithead. You're about to find out what it means to make enemies with a Count's family. <gasps> you will stop this instant! What do you want, hag? Me? A hag? <clears throat> because I want this to end, I'm going to act like I didn't hear that. You need to pay for your tea and leave. Immediately. Is this the way you choose to represent the kingdom's nobility? What's that? I don't think you know who you're talking to here. I'm the Offrey family's daughter. Can someone escort this old lady out of here? You are such a fool. Who do you think you're talking to? Uh, huh? <laughs> Wait, calm down, Leon. Finally! <gasps> You've given me a reason to fight! <laughs> Mature goddess to do it herself, 
But I'm a refined man. Very well. Let's make those memories at the Academy together. Malene, my queen, will you accept my hand in marriage? Eh? <laughs> Mr. Leon, did you just ask me? I think you know much. she's the queen, don't you? I know. Ooh, you bet I know. A gorgeous civilized woman in her 30s is the dream, especially compared to these obnoxious feral teens that haunt the Academy. I'd prefer to marry a human, you know? So, I love you. I adore you. But, you know I'm married. I have a husband and a loving family. Besides, I'm an old woman. None of that matters now. You're incredibly beautiful, and even though you have a family, it could work if we... Oh! Ouch! What the heck? Who freaking did that? Oh, your highness. You've got a lot of nerve. It's one thing to pick a fight with a prince, but then to go off and woo his mother? Julius, this isn't what it looks like, I swear. Mother, I demand that you separate yourself from this unlawful miscreant! And you, let go of her this instant! Oh, man! I don't wanna... what he deserved. I'm gonna have to agree. Your Majesty, are these the memories you wanted to create at the Academy? <laughs> Mother, I implore you to keep your distance from that lowlife Bartford. He's an incredibly rude, greedy, and desperate coward. Correct me if I'm wrong, but aren't you and your friends supposed to be running a cafe and not a club? Well... Marie thought the cafe could be spruced up a bit. Isn't it marvelous? I've had enough of this. Bring her to me now. Oh, holy crap, she's super pissed. I wonder what she'll do to me when she finds out I've been making her son the prince serves tea to a Doring fan girl. I truly hoped you wouldn't be like the others. If you're already this upset, I can't allow you to meet Marie. <laughs> Isn't this interesting? Moments ago, you referred to Leon as greedy. If he's the greedy one, then what do you call these prices? You're charging 100 dia for low-quality sweets and tea? And a service fee on top of that. And you all, what are former prominent heirs doing strutting around just like that? I... but we... It was you who agreed to stay away from Marie if you lost the duel, and it's you who stand by her side. I think I know who the promise-breaking coward really is. I just happened to be helping Brad and the others who happened to be helping with Marie's cafe? It's making disgraceful excuses and no more delaying. Bring me the girl now. I have to admit, she was totally my type. I'll admit you're a fool. What kind of self-respecting knight makes a romantic advance on his queen? Gee, when you put it that way, there's a zero percent chance of a background mob like me marrying royalty. Uh, pardon me? Huh? Is your cafe open? While I would love to serve you, my spirit's essentially been ripped apart by a pack of angry women, so we're closed. Seriously? Uh, um, in that case, I guess... Uh, oh, hi, Olivia! Could you do that thing I asked you about before? Uh, oh, yeah. This is Carla. She asked me if I could introduce you to her this afternoon. Hello, my name is Carla Fowayne. Lord Leon, it's nice to meet you. Carla Wayne? Right then. Is there a reason you asked Livia to do this awkward introduction? Uh, uh. My lord, the Wayne family needs help. I'm begging you, please save us. Master, is it true that you're going to be of service to that unknown girl? We have several days off after the school festival. I'll have plenty of time to help her. Other than the construct of time, what compels you to provide aid? Nothing in particular, I suppose. It's because, well, she made it a point to formally appeal to me. And if I refuse to help with this situation, it could reflect poorly on Livia since she acted as the middleman. Whether I like it or not, she and I have been dragged into this. Is it just me? Or do things seem awkward between them? I wonder if it's because of what happened yesterday. Do you think you can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with the big girls now? All because Angelica decided to adopt you as her pretty little pet? Her pet? You're right. Maybe I'll give them a break. 
That's a good idea. It's not like we're busy. Yeah, but we're extremely deep in the red. Don't worry about it. We're gonna make a killing on our last day. How's that? Whatever it is, it's not good. Here. This is my favorite part of the school festival! Who do you think's gonna win this year? What's that poster for? A bike race? Oh, yeah. It's one of the most popular events. I happen to be on the executive committee. There's always a favored racer. This year it's Dancia Elgar. But I've heard a lot of people talking about Joke. The boy can certainly handle an air bike, I'll give him that. Do you think Mr. Leon will join the race? He's skilled enough to participate, but I don't know. I have a feeling he'd much rather, uh, bet on the, on the race. race. Eva. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he doesn't become too fond of all this gambling. Me either. <laughs> Can you imagine if Joke wins this stupid race? We would collect an obscene amount of prize money! Have you considered putting some money down on the race? Do I look like someone with a betting habit? Come on, you got it! In my previous life, my boyfriend racked up a massive amount of gambling debt. I promised myself that in this world, I'd find a reliable income stream. What are we waiting for? Let's get to work! Whatever you say, miss. I guess I'll work extra hard to earn my pay. Ugh, dramatic much? A few riders appear to be coordinating efforts to affect the match's outcome. As I predicted, numbers six and four should reign victorious. Hey, yeah, what do you a period orb? Please keep doubling my money. <laughs> All these bets. I don't care for it. This will come back to haunt you someday. Everything is fine. A loser, I am not. Number six plays first. Number four second. <laughs> Please not do that thing with your face. I'm worried about him. In the game, they could strike up a romance and end up being together. I recognize the hostile writers. They're Clarice's followers. Wait a minute. That Clarice? <laughs> didn't go easy on him. They could have done some serious damage. <laughs> Everything will be right as rain, Miss Marie. Nothing but a broken bone, that's all. But they took it from me! What will happen to all my prize money? <laughs> he won't be able to compete in the next race. Dang, what are we going to do without him, though? I don't think there are any other first-year racers. Well, our only option is to find a substitute. Goodness, you look like you've been knocked around by a gang of bike racers. As I thought, you were the one responsible for those thugs' interference. That's right. And this is merely one of the many consequences you'll face for daring to leave me. Her name's Clarice. Joke's heartbroken ex fiance In the game, she looked more honor roll student and less jilted lover. Those pretty girls are so ferocious when they're mad! Hey, huh? stop making fun of people! No! Uh, no! She's treating me like a naughty puppy! It's so cute! I get it. Really, I know this is hard, but you're taking things way too far. Aw, oh, you poor thing. How are you acting so blasé right now? Didn't you just get dumped by his royal highness? It must be easy to feign strength when you've got a gaggle of slaves as backup. Do you love being a character in your own tragic story? Hey, shut your trap! Don't pretend like you know who I am! You may want to take it easy. You're talking to the Duke's daughter. Spoiled wench. And you. One little broken bone doesn't make us even. I still want to hear you beg. If you insist, I'll do what it takes to ease your pain. 
clever if you drag Miss Marie into this, then you'll pay the price. Uh, uh, listen, um, let's work this out. Nothing positive comes from vengeance, but maybe if you focus on being happy... You have no idea what you're talking about, twerp! I know. I'm very sorry. It's weird. This girl acts just like my sister from my previous life. By the way, no matter what you say or do, I'll never forgive you. Now what? You're in no condition to race, so I'll need to find a substitute. It's all right. I can still compete. It's the smartest choice we can make at the moment. The smartest choice would have been to not beef it with your crazy ex-fiance. I vote for uh, you to go and take his place! What? Wait, why me? Uh, the prize money? <clears throat> what I meant was, if there's not a replacement for an injured first-year racer, uh, your friend here's gonna pay a hefty price! She's not wrong. Uh, people will assume the Duke's daughter is an incompetent mess. It looks bad if a committee member can't find a substitute. It's okay. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. I can't bear the thought of causing any more trouble for you. Mm, that's sweet, but she's already paying the price for being associated with me. And I owe her dad a massive favor for having my back. Basically, if I cause her any trouble, <laughs> I'm a goner! <laughs> Sign me up, Angie. Wait, what? Are you sure? Why don't you just sit back and relax, you emerald egghead? I'll win the whole frickin' tournament for you! Besides forfeiting the race, it seems I've only got one choice. I'll owe you quite the sizable debt. Oh yeah! And you can bet I'm coming to collect, so have that wallet ready! When it comes down to it, my best bike out there wins the race. You're really testing your limits, aren't you? I never imagined you as one of Angelica's followers. No, it's not that. I'm not cool enough to be one of her minions. I simply accept my place so as a mob. you're a substitute, uh, right? Yep. Now then, what sort of business does a Dan like you have with a Leon like me? I can't believe the Shovel Knight is racing in Jilk's stead. Though I have nothing against you, I will summarily crush you in the next race. Oh, I get it. Crazy old Clarice threatened you, didn't she? No, of course not! <sighs> you wouldn't know it, but she's a good, kind-hearted person. Her followers used to look up to her. At her home, she has a regulation-sized racetrack. One where she could oversee Jilk as he practiced. Her eyes were full of beautiful yearning as she cheered him on. It was as frustrating as it was delightful for the rest of us. But then suddenly, Jilk called off the engagement, gave her a dumb letter instead of having the decency to tell her to her face! The coward deserves to get his butt handed to him. To be honest, I hate that moron too. As a matter of fact, you and I have a lot in common as two dudes who both hate hot guys. So, do you want to let me off the hook? <laughs> I'm sorry, but Lady Clarice's orders are absolute. I'll take that as a no. Holy crap. Clarice has a lot more street cred than I thought. I've completed all of your bike modifications. Will you still try to win after being threatened by that categoric hunk? Who do you think I am? Not Leon? I bet too much money on myself to sit this one out. And I get to see everyone's faces of rage and disappointment when I cross that finish line. Ah, money can't buy that kind of satisfaction. For a person who relies almost entirely on my sophisticated technology, I detect no gratitude for my assistance. If only I could be so audacious. You're gonna kill me in my sleep, aren't you? It's time for the final race! Dan, a third-year student, is favored to take it all. Standing by for the final bus race. Surrounded us on all sides. Aw, these guys love me as much as you do. What's that? The other riders are honing in on Leon. What are they doing? They don't look anything like Clarice's followers. I'm in serious financial debt because of you. Damn it. Is that the sound of karma? Shot it. Leon's in some major trouble. Kick his butt. Yeah, get it, boys. Even the commentator's an asshole. You place your own bets, idiot. I hope you all fall. like to collaborate as a team of equals. No one's stopping our party! This is getting a 
lot worse than I expected. I know. I feel sorry for him. He deserves it. <laughs> He's the absolute worst. The crowd really hates your little follower. <laughs> He's a lot of things, but he isn't my follower. I don't care what he is or isn't. Do you have any idea how much my family has suffered because of you people? <laughs> You're the one who picked that fight, so you only have yourself to blame. You bitch! <sighs> Would you please quit being so uncivil to my friend? Shut your trap and stay out of this, you filthy beggar! Lizzie, what's gotten into you, Angelica? You remember when you used to look down on street trash like her. I guess people do change. I... Uh, that's not... You treated commoners as though they weren't people. Come on, you can stop the act now. <laughs> oh, I see. You get a kick out of watching her being tormented right in front of your eyes, don't you? That's sick. <laughs> Trifling bitch! Stay away from me, my friend! <laughs> get off me! You damn screw! Give it up, ogre! Don't act so high and mighty when your family's failing! <laughs> Can we catch them? I hope you meant, can we pass them? Then what a stunning turn of events! Bart Furn is back with a pack! He's doing it, folks! He's close the gap! Never! Aw, oh, are you upset because I won't stop winning? That only makes me want to win even harder, fools! You're not going anywhere! Yeah! Not to be you! <laughs>
Thank you, my lord. What you've done today will not be forgotten. No worries. I did it because I don't like that dillweed myself. We good. As for you, milady, get back on your feet and keep that chin up. You're a catch, and there's plenty of guys out there. I appreciate it. Your personality may be twisted, but there is some kindness in you. <laughs> By the way, you should go find your friends. They might need you. Uh... Apparently, things got ugly between Angie and that scholarship student during the race. By the long face, pretty girl. Oh, it's you. Angie explained the situation to me. I was wondering if, um, you think Angie and I can be friends. Do you mind if I shoot straight with you? I mean, it'll be hard to hear. Please just tell me. The shortest answer is, I think it's gonna be really tough. You occupy different social spheres, and you don't have much in common. If I'm being honest, I think things have been going way too smoothly so far. <laughs> I was so happy to have a friend at the Academy. I thought it was for real. a lot of followers after our famous duel roulette. It was probably a friendship of convenience since you and I were nicest to her. Hold on, Angie isn't that kind of person. <sighs> You're right, she totally isn't. That's how I know you two will be fine. <sighs> you can be quite unkind when you want to be. I'm never gonna be like Jilk or the Prince. It wouldn't be genuine if I tried to cheer you up with positivity. I think what I should do is go and talk to Angie. Yeah, good plan. As long as I'm honest about my feelings, I'm sure Angie and I can still be friends. Yes? Do you have a moment? I'm honest about my feelings. I'm sure Angie and I can still be friends. Yes? Do you have a moment? I asked you to be the middleman between Bartford and me, but I'd actually like it if you got involved too. I've heard your grades are pretty great. I'm sure a smart girl like you can help. I... I've been meaning to talk to you about that. I introduced you to him, but I've changed my mind. It's just I'd prefer if Mr. Leon stayed out of it. That's too bad. You'll play along nicely now, won't you? Commoner. If you refuse to do what I say, I'll make everyone around you miserable. Especially that asshole Bartford and your stuck-up friend, Angelica. I'll send Carla to meet with you tomorrow, and you'd better get your shit together or your entire family is screwed. Right. Yes, ma'am. No, everything about this is just wrong. Huh? They, they're both better than you think, and they're each very strong-willed. Even if you threaten both of them, they wouldn't budge. Yes, yes again. Look, nobles don't make friends with peasants. Angelica herself would be the first person to tell you that. You're just her kinky pet. A distraction from her broken heart. How do you not understand your place? You're wrong! And how would you know? Because I'm not a pet. I'm a human being. Just like you. My apologies. If you're all such good friends, then you must be equals, right? <laughs> that noble nobody, Bartford, has had some modest achievements. And Angelica was born into nobility, complete with financial and political power. Do you honestly feel like you're on the same playing field as those two? You can't say I'm wrong, can you? And if I'm not, how can you possibly be friends? You can pretend all you want, you're never gonna be more than their precious little plaything. Oh, knowing men like Bartford, I bet he's lusting after your body. Girls despise him, so now he's going after commoners. No, he isn't that kind of person. Really? Try taking your clothes off in front of
out of him. He'll be all over you in a heartbeat. It's so sad how delusional you are. And you have the audacity to strut around acting like you're one of us just because you're walking on our turf. I think it's time to cut you down to size. Sky Pirates, Master? Yep, they're tearing that Carla girl's homeland a new one. And naturally, because of my stellar achievements, she wants me to clear them out. Shouldn't she be asking the royal palace for help? Yeah, ordinarily, I'm sure that she would be. But those Sky Pirates, they're rough, and they hold a key item for the Protag. The main character, otherwise known as Olivia, needs to collect three sacred items in order to awaken her abilities as the saint. There's the holy bracelet that's tucked away nice and deep in the palace dungeon. Then there's the holy necklace stowed away with our soon-to-be friends, the Sky Pirates. And finally, the holy staff kept under the watchful eye of the kingdom's temple. The Sky Pirate event typically occurs two and a half years into the story during the mid-game climax. Then, depending on who the protagonist solicits for help, the game's story splits into a different arc. But, unbeknownst to the player, the Count's daughter has been puppeteering Carla the whole time. Is the Count's daughter similar to your friend Angelica? Oh no, she's the worst. She's vile enough that even I'm repulsed by her. For being the guy who openly hit on the Queen, it's no small feat. I was actually hoping she'd turn out to be a decent person like Angie, but I was dead wrong. And she was the one who lured the Sky Pirates into this. Basically, the protagonist gets dragged into some fabricated Sky Pirate ploy by the Count's daughter. What compelled her to do this? Jealousy, my metal man. She sees Livia, a commoner, climbing the social ladder and does not like that. So she tries to lay the Sky Pirate trap. But well, uh, it looks like I angered her first, which is no surprise. I can think of a couple of reasons why. Are you perhaps expending unnecessary energy toward this pirate party? This does not seem like a beneficial use of your time. I'm just an ordinary mob. Of course I want to avoid the key game events when I can. Except... Usual romantic suspects, his highness and the gang, are totally useless this go around. And I'd prefer to avoid the war timeline. Based on the information you just relayed, I believe Olivia should be the one to resolve this issue instead of you. She can't handle the pressure right now, so I'll take care of it for her. This will be more efficient. By helping her instead of allowing the Fab Five to assist, won't this make you Olivia's love interest? What, me and her? <laughs> that won't happen. Mains don't date mobs. He is oblivious to his current reality. In being preemptively overprotective, he is depriving Olivia of crucial opportunities to develop as a person. Lucian. What is it, Master? Is the partner ready to go yet? Oh, yes. It's ready to depart at once. The Sky Pirates are goners, statistically speaking. The partner is the battleship Lucian built. At a glance, it looks like any other airship to grace the skies here. But I've heard its capabilities are... How should I put it? Out of this world? Hi, Baron! Good morning to you! Thank you for waiting on us. That sneaky snake. Does she think I wouldn't know what she's up to? Uh... Uh-oh. Was she not able to patch things up with Angie? I do hope this is okay. I asked a couple other students to help us take on the Sky Pirates. Huh? Look! Here they are now! Uh. Well, this sucks in a big way. Do I have to allow these noble ninnies to waste my oxygen before taking on the pirate scourge? Who are you calling ninnies? You know, we can hear you and it's irksome. I'm sorry about this. I reached out to them as well. I thought they could help us. Carla serves my ex-fiancée, Stephanie, who happens to be the daughter of Count Offrey. She may be my ex-fiancée, but I cannot ignore her followers' request. Plus, the bounties I'll collect for defeating those dastardly pirates will turn into a boon for our sweet Marie. When I caught wind of pirates and bounties, I decided to get in on the action. Yeah, okay, Greg, you gonna poke them to death? I'm sorry, some egomaniac ripped my armor to pieces! My plan is to steal a suit from the pirates. Hey, what happened to green, blue, and other blue? It isn't nice to call us by our colors. The others were simply summoned home, nothing more. And because of that, I'm stuck with purple over here. You know, the reliable colors. Why don't you shut your mouth, meathead? Besides, I'd rather Chris was here instead of you. What did you say? 
Look out, pirates! These two are gonna annoy you into submission! Well, at any rate, let's work together to defeat the Sky Pirates! Come on, Miss Olivia, ask them to cooperate! What's going on? I wonder if Livia will like the gift I bought for her. If Leon were around, I could have asked him what she likes. Uh, what happened here? Livia? It's me, Angelica! Hello? Is anyone there? Well, look who it is. <laughs> Great, you again. <laughs> she really hates you, huh? That must suck. Sorry, but I don't have time for your nonsense. <laughs> You walked all the way over here to check on your pet. You really do adore her. What are you getting at? Oh, I think you know. You may want to keep your emotional support animal on a tighter leash. Wouldn't want something bad to happen to her. Especially where she's at. I sent her on a sky pirate adventure with that country baron. She seemed a little gloomy to me. Do you think they'll be okay? <sighs> I knew it had to be you. You're the one who brought the pirates into this. <laughs> my lady, you're hurting her! Stay out of my way, or I'll crush you, too. <gasps> hey, stop! Get your hands off of me, you pathetic princeless disgrace! You can say whatever you want. Just know, if anything happens to Livia, I will obliterate you. Just 
Wait here? That's not fair. Let us fight! Luxion, activate arrogance. Aye, aye, Captain. She's a pretty big cruiser. The boss will be pleased if we manage to come back with a ship her size. There's no way. You sure there are only five kids on deck? Yeah. Only three guys and a couple of winches. The blue-haired broad is our contact, so you better leave her be. You ready, boys? Let's show them what real battle tastes like! Yeah! Yes! Woo! Thanks to those idiot kids, our work today should be a walk in the park. Huh? Wait, what armor is that? I remember these guys. Those pirates are the winged sharks, aren't they? They're just low-level grunts, which means the main force must be somewhere else. That's an outdated hunk of junk from a bygone era. What, he's gonna fight us all by himself? Here he comes! You punk! Who in the hell is this guy? Taking home any of this armor. This is it. This is a real battle. Halt! Everybody prepare to retreat! It's time to go! Turn us around! Firing missiles. We're here! A damage unknown! Activate the magic barrier! It's already been activated! He destroyed it with a single blow! He did what? flag. We're forced to surrender. Damn it! Who the hell are you guys? Hey, uh, can I get some help here, Meathead? I knew battles were tough, but I had no idea how intense real combat was. Until now, I was just some cocky, naive kid. Looks like we've disabled them all, so it should be over. Escorting these pirates will take considerable effort. Wouldn't it have been more efficient to eliminate them? I mean, yeah, but we're not all robots. Killing people isn't as easy as you make it sound. Not with that attitude. One which may ultimately result in your demise. It's possible you're right, but... Game world or not, I can't let it change me. Are you kidding me? How did the Sky Pirates lose so easily? At this rate, we'll arrive at my home before sunset! Why can't I get in touch with them? I haven't mentioned any of this to my family! I know, that commoner girl, if I blame this on her, then surely even Baron Bartford, he'll understand and forgive me! <sighs> Why is the sun starting to set already? How can you be so relaxed right now? Yeah, what the heck, dude? I can't tell whether you're amazing or insane! Just chillax. The weapons are aimed at me, too. Who are your rifles? Oh, is that who I think it is? Lord Brad, am I correct? Huh? You are correct. I am the humble lord of this land, Conrad Fowain. And if I'm not mistaken, we met some time ago at Marquess Field's party. Ah, oh, yes, Sir Wayne, of course. He totally forgot who that was. May I ask why you've seen fit to surround us with these armed men? We're here at the behest of your daughter, who requested our help to defend her family's land. She what? Asked for help? Uh, no it wasn't me. I simply wanted to discuss a few matters, and this girl blew it all out of proportion. <sighs> what is going on here? She's wrong. I didn't- It was your daughter who asked Olivia if she could introduce the two of us. She then requested my assistance with an important matter. That is why we went to defeat the Sky Pirates. And who might you be, young man? This is the Baron Leon Foe Bartford. Surely you've heard the rumors. Oh, you Lord Bartford! Please, forgive my insolence, sir. You see, my land and its people are just fine. There isn't any threat from Sky Pirates. You can't be serious. Hold on. It's not my fault. I 
It's not my fault at all. Her commoner is to blame. Hey, don't try to pin this on her. Please, don't be angry, my lord. My daughter is obviously very confused. Confused or not, your daughter is the one who asked for our help to deal with the pirates, and she promised to compensate us. Oh. You intend to dismiss this as a mistake? What do you think this is? Some kind of game? You! Carla! What is the meaning of this nonsense? Explain yourself now! I don't know what to say! I'm sorry! Tears are not an explanation! Tell me what happened! Carla! surprised that the Wayne girl admitted to every detail of their plot. Yeah, me too. And easier than expected. When I told her what the pirates told me, she immediately confessed to everything. It was Lady Stephanie. She made me do it. I swear, it was her idea. So that's good. But we've still got more Sky Pirates to deal with. And a holy relic to steal from them so Livia can unleash her power. There is another issue which should be resolved before tackling the rest of the agenda. Yeah. I guess you're right. Coming in! Oh man, I am beat. Why don't we see how this plays out tomorrow? Maybe you take it easy for a little while? What do you want- You're just, you're remarkable. You have a problem, so you solve it. Job to do, it's done. <sighs> Everything okay? You look pale. Are you running a fever? Uh... Tell me this. Why have you always treated me so kindly? What? Why wouldn't I? It doesn't make any sense. I mean, I'm a commoner. What reason could there be for you to help someone like me? <clears throat> Are you after my body? No way! Of course you aren't. I understand I'm not cute enough. Olivia, please. What is this? Angie is beautiful, and besides, she's a nobleman's daughter. And you have me, with nothing to offer. There's no reason for you to be kind to me when I have nothing. In all honesty, I was nice to her because she's the game's protagonist, and she eventually becomes the saint. That was before. Why are you treating me so favorably? Is this just a game to you? I really wanted to become friends with the two of you. But this... this is no different from being your pet. I'm a human being, Leon. I'm a person, not your pet. <laughs> Why are you treating me so favorably? Is this just a game to you? I really wanted to become friends with the two of you. Concerned. My poor heart, it's as delicate as a hand-blown glass trinket. If by trinket you mean bulletproof glass shield, then yes it is. Uh, well, it's probably for the best. I went and got myself involved with the protagonist and her theoretical rival, and here I am paying the price. It might have turned out differently, had your actions not inhibited Olivia's personal growth. What are you talking about? I was helping her, looking out for her every step of the way. And that's the issue. By solving all of her problems, you gave her no chance to learn. Perhaps she was your adorable pet after all. Based on your decision making, I would assert that she's valuable to you as your personal doormat, rather than a friend. How did that make you feel? Like I'd punch you again if I could, but my hand hurts. Hmm. Huh? Oh. <laughs> hey, don't look so happy to see me, bratty, my boy. Huh. Doing some 
sword training? Indeed, I am. Shouldn't you be practicing your magic? Huh. Isn't that like huh. your whole thing? That is my strength, and I am well aware of it. I'm equally aware of my weaknesses, and I intend to practice every day till I defeat you. Don't be a freaking idiot. I'm not wasting my energy fighting you guys again. You're gonna carry that L with you for life. Uh. wrong. No witty little comeback. Instead of wasting my time quipping, I'd rather hone my skills with the blade. Of the five, I'm the weakest. Physically speaking, mind you. I want Marie to see me and take notice. When we're all together, I'm concerned that I'm a shadow fading into the veil. I am surely the most striking of the group, but still, I feel that I'm failing in other areas. Did he just casually call himself the hot one? I don't understand what all the fuss is about. She isn't even all that hot. It isn't about her looks, you fool! Yeah, then what? Her vacuous personality! <laughs> oh. Odd. What is this? A hunk of metal wandering around with wooden swords. A good opportunity, nonetheless. Uh. Show me what you've got, Baron Bartford! I think I'll pass. It's kind of cold. Don't waste your breath, fool! <laughs> are putting themselves through the ringer. All for that good-for-nothing girl, it seems. Me too. 
I salvaged some usable armor from our last battle. Please! Not a chance. You need to consider the risk if I... We know that we'd be holding you back, but we can't just stand around and do nothing. It's true. Let us join the fight. Come on, Bartford. I've got to go check my armor, and then you can do whatever you want. <sighs> such awful things to him. He was always there to help me when I needed it most. Meeting him was a miracle. I felt so lucky to be by his side. I'm the one who expected more and compromised our friendship. How could I? Ah! Oh no, what was that? Shield wall? Ah! 
the treasure hunters. They were pirates after all, and that's a good thing, because I doubt we'll collect a reward from the Wayne family. Mm. However, we should receive the Sky Pirate bounty from the Royal Palace. Great. You know how much I love the green. But you know what I'd love even more, man? Evidence linking the pirates with Stephanie, who orchestrated this mess. You're in luck. I discovered written correspondence between the two parties. Good. Anything to rid the world of that flaming trash pile. Maybe it'll help improve the kingdom. <laughs> Who am I kidding? The whole kingdom's trash. I would not hesitate to raise the kingdom with fire, and then pulverize the planet for good measure. After which, I would facilitate the creation of an idyllic world to suit your every need. That's sweet. Maybe I'll assemble a harem. Complete with cat-eared beast women and a couple of sexy elves! <laughs> Thinking's no different from the girls at that love academy. I love bearing witness to your revelations. Do you feel better now that you've directed your latent anger at some pirates? Perhaps you have also realized that Olivia doesn't hate you, but is merely experiencing some emotional instability. Yeah, I get it. It's time for me to step into the background and be a proper mob. By the way, a Redgrave airship appears to be headed in our general direction. Looks like Ms. Angelica pulled a few strings. We'll let them handle it from here. What is the meaning of this? Too soon? Oh, wow! We aren't the ones who defeated the pirates. 
We can't rightfully accept this. Are you suggesting we should take credit for Bartford's achievement? There isn't a choice. You must accept. Baron Bartford was explicit in his recounting of the events. He claims to have assisted the two of you. He what? What does that mean? I was instructed to keep quiet. But the Baron has made a heartfelt appeal to both of your families. He's asked them to reconsider your disinheritance in light of your recent exploits. Are you sure this is what you wanted? Yeah, it'll be good for me to see those Lugheads get reinstated. They're not the worst. Plus, they did protect Ms. Olivia. Beyond the matter of their imminent reinstatement, how do you feel about the Offrey family's daughter? You mean Stephanie? We'll let the royal palace and the Redgrave family dirty their hands with her. The punishment they'll inflict emotionally and socially will be worse than any I could attempt. If you are satisfied, I have nothing more to add. However, on the matter of friendship, Angelica is quite upset. She wanted to know why you made Olivia cry. Huh? She did? Rich girls can be so irrational. Do you intend to distance yourself from her as well? I guess I should. If anything, up till now, we've been getting too close to each other. assistance to my daughter, I'd like you to accept an airbike as a token of my appreciation. And, though this may be impertinent of me, I have made a recommendation that you be promoted to upper fifth rank after your graduation. Congratulations, Master. Sounds like you'll be promoted once you graduate from the Academy. <laughs> Please stop talking. I'm gonna go and get away for a while. No can do. Classes start tomorrow. <laughs> this is the new airbike Clarice's father sent me for helping her out? It is much more advanced than the model you piloted during the festival. I decided to call it Schwert. You always get to name my toys. So, does Schwert have some special meaning? It simply means sword. Oh dang, that's rad, man! Shiny, pointy, flying, sword! <laughs> Now, let's make it more perfect. <laughs> you could try being happier about it. Yeah, come on. You just got a big promotion, right? Why would I be happy if I didn't want to get promoted in the first place? Because now you won't have so much trouble finding a wife. See? Those girls are staring right at you. I heard he got promoted again. Could be worth dating now. If I didn't hate him with every fiber of my being. They're only contemplating dating me because of my fancy new status. No freaking way, I'm out. I can't deny that. Well, pretty soon, you might have better luck finding someone. The school trip's right around the corner. <laughs> That's right, the school trip event. Every year, students of all grade levels are split into three groups and sent on a brief excursion. In game, you have to travel to the same location as your love interest. To beef up that relationship score, of course. There are also items exclusive to each locale, so I decided to hit up the southern floating island and snag an item I wanted. 
Uh, I guess this is where we part ways. Hey, you're still planning on traveling with Angelica and Olivia, right? It'll be a good chance to apologize. What? What do I have to apologize for? Something that's bound to be your fault, duh. He's not wrong. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Rickin' A. What kind of monster do you guys think I am? Oh, yeah. This is nothing like any of the school trips I've ever been on before. This is a luxury passenger ship. You will also get to enjoy water skiing at the arrival destination. I know. Seems like an awesome place to take Schwartz out for a test drive. Just the cool air in me. We're going to have a marvelous time when we arrive. I'll regale you with tales of my forefather's heroic exploits. <laughs> that sounds wonderful. I'm looking forward to it. I don't want to get married. Can I at least make an effort here? It's really you. Where are you heading next? You should eat with me. Join me by the pool. Ah! <laughs> the romantic interests don't seem to have a problem getting attention. Why can't they follow the game's story and pursue the protagonist already? I mean, not that it's any of my business or anything. Olivia, Miss Olivia. I am abandoning the Duke and his family. Yeah, me too. They're a bunch of nobodies since the engagement was called off. We pull the string, and then we toss it out a window. Yeah, and do it quietly. Beautiful, I just wish we could enjoy it together. I don't know. Is there even a place for me at the Academy anymore? Actually, uh... This is the shrine uh, dedicated to marriage. It's widely known for its effectiveness. Oh, did she say marriage? In this event, the protagonist and her love interest visit the shrine together. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, we should make an offering. You're giving that much? Is it too much? When we visit our temple, it's normal to give this amount. <laughs> Dear God, please help me find a wife. And while you're at it, make sure she's kind-hearted with common sense to boot. I'm looking for a well-seasoned vixen who will cuddle me every waking hour. The naughtier the better! This is a holy place. How many times do I have to tell you to watch your language? <laughs> uh. I sure hope Ms. Angelica is looking to marry someone more respectable than that numbskull prince. As for Ms. Olivia, I hope she ends up with someone who sucks less than Greg or Brad. Who am I kidding? Even Jill and Chris are hopeless. Whoever the lucky jerk is, as long as he takes care of her and makes her happy, he's all right with me. Students of the Academy, I hold in my hand some of our shrine's famous charms. Please take one as a souvenir. Some charms, huh? <laughs> That's right! These are the items I've been pining over for weeks! Oh, you get to choose one at random. There's the luck charm, the battle charm, and the elemental protection charm. <laughs> I wanted these items so badly that I pulled every string available to make sure we ended up on this southern floating island instead of those other lay retreats. I love you, school trip event! Uh, mister, those charms are for all three of you to share. Uh. Oh, we don't need those. Yeah, they're all yours. Come on, they're all for us. We can open them together. Really? If you insist. I really appreciate it.
appreciate it. Here we go. I'm gonna win big tonight. It's not about winning or losing. It's about play variety. Ready and go. Uh, what is this? Uh, it's beautiful. Those are some red and white elemental protection charms. I'm happy it was you guys that got them. I don't have an affinity for those particular elements. Affinity? Wait, what do you mean? Oh, uh, don't worry about it. Just hang on to those. The nice thing is, we all got something good. What are those? Yours looks much more elaborate than ours. They look like swords. They do, because it's a battle charm. <sighs> this bad boy enhances melee combat abilities. It also boosts existing physical attributes like strength and dexterity. Something about this trinket is different than the one I've used before, though. Do you like your lucky charms? We do. They're lovely, thank you. Of course. And thank you for visiting our humble marriage shrine. I know. The three of you must have prayed for your everlasting friendship. Uh. <sighs> Master, did you avoid the dungeon with the holy bracelet since you had not yet acquired this charm? That is an interesting choice to make. With Marie around. I thought it was odd that you were not in more of a hurry with her gallivanting about. Is she not attempting to steal the coveted role of protagonist in this story? She is, but as long as she's played the game thoroughly enough to get the lore, she won't do anything too dumb. If we end up heading down the warpath, we're all screwed. Bartford. Mm. I heard you and Brad had a proper duel. I was thinking you and I should have a sword fight of our own. Oh? Brad challenged me to a duel in a style he's no good at. You, on the other hand, happen to be a skilled swordsman. Wow. I had never considered myself to be particularly proficient. My father insists I'm not cut out for it. Oh, brother. If you're in need of validation, you should go wind the Marie. Don't presume anything about my needs. I won't take this from a man who's never worked a day in his life. On the way, An no. attack? Principality of Thanos. They originally aligned with the Duke of the Kingdom until they declared independence and called themselves a nation. This isn't right. They're not supposed to show up until the end of the game. What's going on? Why now? I will ready the main ship and partner for attack, awaiting your command. Send them now. How long do we. Oh. They have a monster airship? It's the princess. Leon, why are they attacking? <sighs> princess Hertrude. You know her? Yes. She and I have actually met once before. <sighs> I, First Princess Hertrude Sarah Thanos, have a message for you from the Principality of Thanos. Citizens, we have declared war on your Hallfort Kingdom. To the children of the kingdom's pitiful nobility. Surrender now, or die. I shall grant you time to decide your fate. You have approximately one hour. What? A declaration of war? She can't possibly take us all as hostages. Why is a major third year event happening this early in the story? Where the heck did I go wrong? How do you do, young people of the kingdom? I am Gillette, commander of the fleet. Now then, children of nobility ranking as barons or higher will be taken prisoner. We have no interest in lower rank demi-human slaves or the ship's crew. What? We're not taking any knife. We're not even worth anything. This isn't good. What should I do? How can I fix this? My servants. Oh. I am Angelica Rafa Redgrave. You should be familiar with my family's name at the very least. Well, well. I'm the highest ranking student here. Just take me. Let the other hostages go. I wasn't expecting to cross paths with the Duke's daughter. 
But your willingness to sacrifice yourself is commendable. And I accept this way, please. Wait, Angie, no! Hey, move it! Oh, uh, uh, you idiot! You're gonna get us killed! Nobody made her do it! No! Are you guys freaking crazy? My, my, this lad's affection for his friend is going to get him. It's a serious trouble! Leon, no! <laughs> Well, my dear boy, what do you say we give these noble brats one less task, eh? Each of you punish him for his transgressions. <sighs> Hurry up. Do it. No hard feelings, man. <laughs> <laughs> just arrived. What's your point? Angelica is the only hostage they'll be taking. The attack on our vessel begins in about an hour. Apparently, we're sentenced to die like the rest of the noble students. <laughs> Figured they'd pull that crap. This ship is outfitted with six armors. I want to use them, but I'll need your help. Maybe we can buy the others time to escape. Not a chance. Those wimps abandoned Angie when she needed them. <laughs> Let them get crushed. Please, this may be our only chance. I'm begging you to save us. I said no. Sorry, I tried. Hey, numbskull! You didn't let me finish talking. I'm not particularly fond of helping people who abandon others in their time of need. So if I'm in, we're all in. Everyone, listen to me. I understand why your courage failed you during today's unexpected attack. But we can't afford inaction. We have to rise to the occasion. I need each of you to help. If we don't stand up and fight now, they'll mercilessly slaughter us. The nerve of these first-year students. Down. We can't beat this is Angelica's fault. All she did was run away and save herself. What a lousy excuse for a red grave. <laughs> I've heard enough of this sniveling pageantry, you weakling! Listen carefully. I'm the only knight here with an official barony under his belt. I'm also lower fifth rank. That means I'm higher status than the instructors who lead us. And as such, I order you to fight. Fight till you die! It's better than getting killed while you stand here and tremble! What? I don't want to die! You can go fight, you bitch! Oh! You bet your butts I'll fight! 
After all, I'm a real noble. Unlike you wannabe royals, I'm not a coward. What did he say? Wannabes, huh? Yes, I see. Uh. Only a fool would sling such insults when addressing someone of my rank. Take it back now. Uh, you're who now? I am none other than Deirdre Foe Roseblade. I happen to be the daughter of Earl Roseblade, and don't you forget it. Ah, the Roseblades. Other than the Duke's family, yours is probably the most influential bloodline to grace this ship. But you're still just a phony. Oh, I can't believe this. You're a new money nuisance. Yeah, that's right, I am new money. And yet, I'm still a true noble and a successful adventurer. Unlike all you spoiled phony jabronis. <laughs> that is enough! My ancestors offered the kingdoms one of the largest islands they had ever laid eyes on. We are an incredibly distinguished family. Your forefathers certainly earned their place as nobles. Shame is, their descendants are a bunch of craven, whiny babies. <laughs> Don't lie. You were relieved when Angie surrendered herself to the principality, weren't you? You were just gonna hide in the shadows and wait for the storm to pass. Your enemies are onto something. You've got none of the pride or instincts that were emblematic of your ancestors' legacy. You're just nobodies clinging to the achievements of your forefathers. All those achievements they worked so hard for, they're about to be overwritten by your spineless retreat. Once you've tarnished your family's legacy, you'll never stop hearing about your monumental failures. How you're a disgrace to the nobility, and how they want nothing to do with the yellow bellies who fled from the fight when it mattered most. Is that adventurer's blood coursing through your veins? Or is it fake? Is this how you want to die, waiting patiently for death to take you? If you're truly the descendants of great adventurers, then you'll stand up and fight. Oh, I see. So you are as stupid as you look. You think you can defeat those monsters with that little thing? Go ahead and fight. I'd like to see you stand up to their army with a weapon like that. I knew it. However, what you said is true. The blood of our great forefathers most certainly is coursing through our veins. That is our most powerful weapon. Let's do this! Don't underestimate us, shithead! Once we're done with the principality, you are next! For you and everything you love? It's about time. Love to see people muster up some self-respect. As for you, Baron Bartport, you're on it. who signaled the Principality? It was a couple of Angelica's former followers. They're currently being held in the brig. This is a misunderstanding! Get back here, please! Just listen! We'll let the Duke deal with them when we get back from kicking Thanos' butt. I can't wait to tear that scumbag's overly manicured mustache off! <laughs> You've got a lot of confidence. Hey, you tell me what I already know? <laughs> Mr. Leon? Uh Promise you'll rescue Angie. I will. I won't stop until she's back safe. It's time now. Allow me to demonstrate. We found a way of leveling the playing field. Witness the power of the Principality. until she's back safe.
yo. Angelica is inside that ship. She is accompanied by Princess Hertrude. In the game, the princess had a magic flute. We're stealing that bad boy when we rescue Angie. Get a move on! Affirmative. Ready when you are. Eat my beef, turd! Now that is how you make a commanding entrance! With our powers combined, we're the ultimate dynamic duo! Our powers? I perform the difficult tasks, so I would assert that you're my assistant. Yeah, whatever you say. We gotta move it. Trash is as trash does. Yes! <laughs> there he goes. Will I ever be so graceful or valorous? Gents, we'll do whatever we must to defend this ship! Yeah! They're close! Remain steadfast and hold your positions! They're about to hit us! <laughs> we made a promise to Bartford. We won't allow this ship to fall! Barriers up! Prepare to intercept! Scatter them! Now! Ship spotted at 9 o'clock. What is it? It appears to be an air bike! <laughs> Leon. You! Bring my magic flute. Yes, ma'am. You fool. So stupid. Wasn't this ordeal bad enough? Why didn't you escape when you had the chance? Coming! Cut them off! Huh. How foolish. Resisting now will only make their defeat more painful. That's enough! Those nobles are adventurous descendants. They're far stronger than you can imagine. And they don't give up without a fight. They're showing some backbone. Isn't that what you wanted? And the man leading the charge? He's one of our most distinguished knights, Baron Leon Fo Bartfort. Bartfort, huh? A baron. <laughs> no, they're not rolling over. But this insipid charade will end today. They'll soon be within range of our cannons and can kiss this world goodbye. We'll blow them out of the sky along with our monster companion. You can't. So you're telling me we're using my entire army of monsters as bait? We can easily get our hands on more of these expendable creatures. Leon. Olivia. I am surprised. About what? These fledgling academy students, especially the males, they are holding their own against a monster invasion. I expected more whining and less success. Those fledgling nobles are born with the blood of mighty adventurers in their veins. Besides which, they're constantly training so the ladies will marry them. If they're serious about getting married, they'll put all their energy into becoming warriors by the time they graduate. They must want to get married. How heartwarming. Take that! We've got this! We'll do what it takes to protect these girls! Come on! Wait, there's more! Hurry! Reinforce the barrier! Out of my way! Oh, it's here, Grace! Rose? Hurricane! With the petals of these vibrant roses, I shall send these foul monsters far and away! What is their wonderful smell? All those roses? Ignore the small ones! We've got a job to do here! The guys on the ship will handle the rest! Right! Are you alright? Uh, I think so. This is my first time seeing healing magic. You nobles, don't disappoint. You're all so courageous. Sir A. 
aiming right at us. Are they going to blast the monsters too? Oh no, what should we do? We can't block all of them. No, no. Damn it. of her laborious research. At the academy, she devoted herself to her studies. She had time to do so because of your protection. Maybe your dogged insistence on solving her problems provided some unseen benefits after all. Long as it wasn't for nothing, I guess. Now's our chance. We can advance without the threat of flanking maneuvers. Olivia's bravery gave us a window of opportunity, and I don't plan on sitting here and wasting it. What do you say? The shortest route has been selected. Try not to fall off. Again. Define shortest route! No! Not the two factories! So much for a smooth ride. You could have at least made this hideous monster more comfortable. I think this hideous monster is sort of cute. You think it's cute? Have you actually seen this thing? I have an update on the distinguished Baron you mentioned. He appears to have been consumed by this very ship. <sighs> Our finest historians will make record of the young knight's name. He shall henceforth be remembered as the dolt who fruitlessly defied the principality and died. Huh? <laughs> He's alive! Watch your face! <laughs> Who sick me? Don't say! You're coming with me. Prepare to add hostage to your title. I underestimated you, Knight of the Kingdom. Be a good knight and tell me your name. Enough with the time wasting banter. Now give me that flute and no sneaky funny business, or else. Master, that is a replica. The maid has the real item. <laughs> Permanent hair removal mode. Activate. I said no funny business, princess. A rubber bullet? He just knocked her unconscious. Excuse me, princess. You'll be joining us on our ship. If you insist. Uh, Leon, what's happening? Son of a... It's falling apart because we killed the monster. We gotta run. The mothership! Where's the princess? Yoo-hoo, sailors! I've got your precious princess and a little boat now! Now make like a tree and move your asses out of my way! Nasty penny! Nasty penny! You, are, you call yourself a knight? Says you! Take a look in the mirror! You're unbelievable. <laughs> I can't thank you enough for everything. Gillette, sir, you made it out alive. Uh, uh, yes, boy. Your your mustache, sir. Silent! Prepare the ship for battle! Yes, sir. Damn cocky hellion!
is Olivia. She seems pretty wiped out. Bartford! The foes have ceased their barrage. What now? Well, the only item left on the agenda is to take off with our new hostage. Attention all ships! Our princess has sacrificed herself for the principality. We must all attack immediately! Did they just sentence their princess to death? Losing me won't stop the Principality's efforts. I'm replaceable, you know. What? What did you do? I relinquished control of every enslaved monster in the sky. When they realize what's happened, they'll attack the person who is controlling them. Your ship will soon be completely surrounded. If the battle continues... Miss Olivia will definitely use that spell again. Damn it, come on! Luxion, we need to buy some time! I like that plan. I would follow you anywhere, Master. Leon, wait! Bartford! Don't go. Positions, everyone! Run! I can't keep going like everyone quit complaining! How can we injure this side? Is there anything I can do to help? We are a good team, but we may be a bit outnumbered. Shut it! For the kingdom. Repeat the shit! And for you, Leon. <laughs> are these fire lances? I've never been able to cast this spell. Incinerate my enemies. No, not mine. Leon's! Angie. It worked. <gasps> Livia! Die, fiend! <gasps> Livia, what are you doing? Get out of here! Oh, hi, Angie. I'm here. Livia, did you expend too much magic power? I only... Wanted to be useful to you guys. And all I've ever done is make things harder for you and Mr. Leon. What? I wanted you to acknowledge me. I wanted us to become real friends. I tried. I promise. You did. You've done more than enough for us. And you have never made things harder. Bitch. <laughs> Listen to me. I do acknowledge you. You're not just a friend. You're one of my closest companions. My Livia. <laughs> oh, Angie. Livia, you poor thing. a long time ago. Livia, father, brother, your highness. I see. It's all clear now. Be a good friend of Livia, Leon. Promise.
knew he'd come somehow against all odds. I knew it. Mr. Leon wouldn't let me fall. Shit. She looks so damn relieved to see me. Lucian, I need you to take the wheel. Shifting to match her descent, brace yourself for correction. And if you are feeling overprotective, it is the right time to show it. Well, you better clap that trap!
Something like that. It's a trade secret. The partner will commence rescue operations immediately. Everyone evacuate! Prioritize the injured! We fought bravely, but it's time to go home! No hurry! Talk about a memorable school trip, am I right? The students are on partner. Get it out of here. Master, a new enemy has entered the battlefield. What? Their armor is black. I believe it is an enemy unit. Armor that is black? Could it be? The Black Knight? Vandell? Why now? The Black Knight? No, that can't be right. Angie, who is this Black Knight? He's been a feared knight of the Principality since, well, before our birth. The man is ferocious. He single-handedly sank dozens of the kingdom's warships. So, is Mr. Leon gonna be all right? Can he defeat someone so powerful? Dang. Activating drones. Hellfire, this guy's using cheats! His armor is vastly superior to any we have encountered thus far. Oh, this is gonna suck! It's futile! Crap! You're so young. You can barely handle the two weapons you're wielding. Luxion, it's time to put away the rifle and the blade. What weapons do you intend to use next? My bare freaking hands. We can go. Damn Wait, can he still fight? Come on! Nobody mentioned that his blade could pierce Arrogance's armor! Armor performance is down 30%. Strain on pilot is increasing. I recommend immediate withdrawal. No flippin' way! Your reluctance to murder the opposition has paved the way to this outcome. You have backed them into a corner, and their only option is to fight. Helpful as always, thanks! Young man... You'll rue being born into the kingdom. Normally, I would have run by now, but I can't. Leon, the rest is up to you now. Promise me you'll come back to us alive. <sighs> Requesting permission to use partner's weapons. Tonight, we'd end up killing the Black Knight. I truly do not understand you. Arrogance here is a part of Luxion. 
And I'm proud to admit, I bought them as a premium microtransaction. <clears throat> Yield to me. It's done. I won't. Kill me, please. Not today. Trying to lay off the killing. Don't be ridiculous. Master, I am delighted to report that partner has regained control of the surrounding area. Excellent job, my spherical friend. I knew you'd nail it. Seriously? Just take the L and deal with it! I have no choice but to erase it all. It's the only way to avoid being mocked in our history. I, the beardless halfwit who lost to a child. What is that light? It's a special signal flare. It's meant to gather the monsters. And it's superior to even my magic. Come and get it, monsters! Lay waste to everything in your sight! It's kind of magnificent to see you all up there like that. Unfortunately, it seems you'll be swallowed by this onslaught along with the rest of us. Luxian, you're up, pal. Is it finally my turn? Principality, let everyone know how strong the kingdom is. You're not going to cut off my head as a trophy. What would I do with an old geezer's head? Talk about creepy. But I will be stealing this wicked sword right here. <laughs> Listen to me, boy. Someday your naivete will be your undoing, you hear? Huh? <laughs> oh, boy. For someone who was spared by my humble benevolence, you sure talk a big game. You're having a hard time understanding this, aren't you, old man? I what? Your career is already over. <sighs> Did you get it now? You lost a war to a measly civilian airship. One carrying a bunch of students, no less, man. <laughs> I can't believe you were so easily defeated. <laughs> you have to know what this all looks like, right? How dare you, you vile insect. Next time you A bunch of weak, <sighs> grown-ass men waged war on some kids, and then they lost. Do you honestly think there will ever be a next time for you pathetic losers? Come on, just retire already. In fact, retirement may be your only choice. Your era has come to a disappointing end. Thank you for your service. You insufferable dwarf. Are you suggesting we carry on living with this indignity? Don't winners dictate what the losers do in the end? Yeah, keep living your lives in disgrace. take your armors that still function, as well as your warships and airships that are still in good shape. <laughs> the rest are purposeless hunks of stone. Can't wait till you hear this. I'll break those down and then use them for fun. <laughs> this is more like you, Master. You are a heartless abomination. I know. I'm kind of starting to like this side of me, too. Before you get hasty, perhaps we should engage in negotiations between our fine nations. <laughs> Why should I have to make any concessions to the losing side? Aaron, please. Isn't that right? But wait. Ah! Isn't that right? Yes. Yes, sir. Master, may I ask why you chose to endanger yourself and arrogance by fighting the Black Knight? You know my main ship was capable of defeating him. If by defeat you mean instantly vaporize him, but then... What happens after that? I suppose the world would perceive you as a great threat. Not only the Principality, but it is likely you would also draw unwanted attention from the Kingdom. Bingo! Doesn't that sound like a pain in the ass? I'm already doing way more than I should. After all, I'm just a... Mob character! Did I win? Yes, you won. Great, what's going on here? Come on, at least tell me why you're here! <laughs> Can I not sleep in my own room? Master, shh. The two of them are already in your room. Huh? I'm 
never laid eyes on anything so precious. Real like you. Hold on. Why didn't you tell me they were sleeping? Angie's dad is gonna murder me. They drifted into a deep sleep while waiting for you. They must have been exhausted. Bartford. Huh? Chris. What do you want? This better not be another duel request. I'm too tired for that crap. You deftly defeated the Black Knight. Surely, I am beneath your station. You gave me a new level to strive for. I just wanted you to know that, that's all. Hmm. Okay. Just like we did with Brad and Greg, I'm gonna force him to take credit for this incident. Study abroad? Are you sure we're not letting them off too easily? Their princes declared a war, and then they wrongfully invaded us. Yes, but... How is Leon doing? Leon? Well... He has achieved many a great success. We can't have the boy marrying the wrong person now, can we? The man has zero prospects. Girls never show a romantic interest in him. That's what I don't understand. How does a knight that is continuously promoted get so little attention from the girls? <sighs> ah, this is the life. Wow, yummy! This is so tasty! <laughs> if you think those are good, I could always have more delivered from my favorite shop. A favorite shop? I want to hear all about it. No, sir. <gasps> I'm sure you would buy out their entire stock. Aw, oh, come on! I'd hork down their most popular stuff in front of the girls. Or maybe I'd hand them out to all the ladies on a diet. <laughs> Don't you dare. You mustn't be so mean. Bad boy. <laughs> more importantly, <clears throat> you allowed Chris to take credit for defeating the Black Knight. Why'd you do that? Ladies, I'm telling you, that wasn't some run-of-the-mill practical joke. It was a highly sophisticated political decision. Wait, was this in regard to the Arclights? This incident could greatly benefit Chris. His family would be forced to take him back. Leon, you really are a kind man after all. Yeah, of course I am, duh. Those are some delightful uh, pleasantries. Oh, I am... Um, there's something I've been meaning to ask you about. Namely, what is that thing? Oh, uh, you mean this little guy? This is Luxion. He's my familiar. I simply exist to provide support for my master. I am the product of science, rather than the magic you are used to. I am an artificial intelligence. Whoa! Madam, please do not touch my lens. It's quite charming, I must say. You are so adorable, Luxi. Did you say Luxi? <laughs> hey, as far as nicknames go, that has a nice ring to it. What do you say, Luxi? Since you have enough time to tease me, perhaps you should spend some of that time worrying about yourself instead. Wait, what does that mean? The prince and his friends appear to be secretly scheming. Huh. What is this thing? This is the armor in which we will challenge Bartford. We will defeat him and put this chapter behind us. Hold on, how did you guys make this? We gathered our salvageable parts and worked on it for many sleepless nights. The materials were only 500,000 dia. Ah! They threw 500,000 on this chunk? Are they fucking crazy? I can't believe we'll have a rematch! Well, I've had just about enough of the prince. I feel sorry for Leon. I really hope he doesn't get injured during the battle. The award ceremony is tomorrow. So now, if they win, they want us to cease all meddling in their relationship with Marie? This definitely doesn't feel like a repeat of our last duel. Why did you not refuse to participate? I just figured I'd go ahead and lose on purpose. Lose on purpose? Why would you do that? If they're desperate enough to build whatever that is to be with Marie, why not make it official? Plus, I realized that Livia was too good for those quacks. I am glad your brain finally arrived. It was just fashionably late like I always am. You're sure you're okay with me piloting? I hate to admit it, but I can't beat him. If there are no swords, then I can't do it. All of our faith lies with you. You have the best chance of defeating him in combat. Get out there and beat Bartford! Sure thing! Their friendship is so pure and refreshing. They sure do like to rub it in, don't they? Now, let's get ready for our L. Greg to reject from his armor immediately. That humanoid jump pile is about to explode. 
What? How? Internal temperatures are abnormally high due to haphazard assembly. I must admit, I am impressed it has any mobility given the circumstances. Oh man, it's out of control, isn't it? Hey, there's something wrong with your armor! Jack, no! Ha! I won't be fooled by that trick again! No! Dude, listen to me! Damn it! Rev, stop the fight! There's something wrong with his armor! What hurt? You disgrace yourself! You caused their anger, now face the consequences head on! Don't be ridiculous! Just listen to what I have to say to you! You reap what you sow. By behaving terribly all the time, you make life more difficult. Thanks for the pep talk! Now help me fix this! Analysis complete. We can destroy the armor without causing an explosion. Destroy it? Are you kidding me? Even I feel bad about doing she that! Had enough fight. Or we can let the armor explode, yeah. which would kill Greg. Come on! You have him cornered, Greg! That's it! Go! Yeah, keep pushing back! Show him how strong you really are, Greg! This is the end for you, Bartford! Master, we have now run out of time. I came here to do a good thing, and you all managed to screw this up, too! You guys freaking suck! <laughs> participation trophies to students that fought the principality, right? Uh, nobody told you, did they? You're being given a distinguished service medal for capturing the principality of Thanos' princess, my guy. Huh? Leon, huh? what are you doing? The ceremony is about to begin. Nuh-uh, I don't want to go. You need to get up this instant. My father and brother are going to be there, and I want to properly introduce the three of you. Introduce us? But, but, but why? Because I, am. Um... Never mind, just hurry up. This is all a horrible dream. When I wake up, I'll be at the entrance ceremony of my new academic journey, learning about wife hunting. I'll study all things tea under my master's watchful eye, and buy a new tea set, the fanciest of all tea sets. To Sir Leon Foe Bartford, for your meritorious actions, hmm. you are granted the title of Viscount. Now, this distinguished service award comes at the behest of the royal family, <laughs> as well as the Redgrave, Field, Seaberg, Arclight, Attlee, and Roseblade families by the power of their names. Do not forget to be grateful on this occasion. I can't do it, not even for you, Master. <laughs> What's he doing? He's just some try-hard mob character. You wait and see. I'll acquire the Saint's remaining items, and I'll truly become the protagonist once and for all! Man, I don't have the willpower to be a Viscount. I was supposed to live out the rest of my existence as a backwater baronet. <laughs> you did great. I mean it. Olivia. Um, I, uh... Uh, yes? You've been avoiding me, haven't you? No, I, um, I didn't know how to respond to you. That's all it is. I know this may make things uncomfortable for you, but I want you to know I meant what I said, Leon. It's not uncomfortable at all. I mean, I just... Someday, I hope you tell me how you truly feel. Olivia. Well, come on, Angie's waiting for us. You know, I think it's time to make a decision. Yeah, I'm a mob, but I still want to be with them. I'll do what it takes, no matter how tough the world of this Otome game becomes. Are you aware that you and Marie are quite similar? Huh? Both of you exploit knowledge from your previous lives to gain favor with the romantic interests or to get closer to the protagonist. From my perspective, you are practically the same. Uh, so, you don't really think we're the same, do you? 
To me, this is merely a trivial human matter. By all means, Master, be as friendly with Olivia and Angelica as you deem fit. How exactly should I proceed after what you said? It is this indecisiveness that clouds your judgment and leads to these undesirable results. It is also what I expect from you. Mr. Leon, what are you waiting for? Are you just going to have us stand here? Uh, sometimes I wish I had a more gracious, benevolent companion. As your humble kettle, I couldn't agree more, Pot. I mean, 